Okay, everything looks good now, everybody. Let's finally play the video game, all right. The thing is the Pikmin 1 randomizer, and I've been talking about trying it for a bit. I think it's all good. All right, good. My controller is actually... I was accidentally, like, closing something outside of the game with the controller. I had to, like, figure out what was causing that. You can't skip the opening cutscene for Pikmin 1. Now, what the randomizer does is it makes it so that all the enemies refresh and randomize every single day. So it should be complete chaos and a lot of fun. However, I'm worried it might give me, like, some impossible days. Like, too much strong enemies in, like, the first area. Like, I won't be able to do much about that except make more Pikmin, right? But we'll see if we can do this. If you know where every ship part is, there's usually a good leeway for, like, 30 days should be more than enough, but we'll see. All that matters is that we have fun. The impact site. Logic to it? I don't think so. Because it's the enemies, not the ship parts or stuff like that. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skip the text and go right to the first Pikmin and hope that there's no enemies around. Okay, buttons. Oh, hey, just a tadpole, just a grub. You can't zoom the camera out until you first get to the onion. There's a lot of enemies in Pikmin that you don't like actually see in normal gameplay, yeah. Or rather, they're really easy to avoid if you know where they are, all right. Oh, hey, just a Bulborb chilling over there. So if my first pick Pikmin here gets eaten, it's just game over. So I better probably take these guys out on my own. Come on. Come on. Okay, dropped a pellet. That's good. I don't know what happens. Can the game even handle a game over in the impact site? I don't think there's a way to actually, like, die there. Also, thank you for the resub there, Flash. Appreciate it. Okay. Just let Olimar do it. Okay, good. So, the benefit of, um, the impact site is that there's no time limit for the first day. So, I can take advantage of this. Oops. And kill the enemies right quick on my own. Hang on. If I go back to my ship, does it restore my health? No, I can't do that yet. All right. Okay, there's a bull bear. Um, can I make them walk on the fire? No, the fire doesn't hurt them. I'm gonna do this. Okay, let's zoom in on the action a little bit. These guys have a bit more health than bull borbs. I gotta be careful. I can't afford to let my suit die, because then it's just going to have to be a reset. I can't kill all these guys with one Pikmin, so if I take them out now... Because it's possible I could just get softlocked and not be able to push the, the box over there, because I need ten Pikmin. I can't afford to lose any. I'm trying to bump away, because when they shake around, they have a hitbox there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's do it. Audio all good, by the way? Yeah, if you run out of Pikmin, you get a Pikmin extinction, but what's supposed to happen there is you go back to, like, the impact site, and Olimar is just like, oh, look, the onion gave me one more seed. But I don't know if that can even happen during the tutorial, because it's not supposed to. So it's possible that the game could just crash if I let that one Pikmin die, so I don't want to pick it yet. Luckily, it's only small fry around here. All right. Let's get the red pellet posy. All right, good. Start mashing on blue. Okay, you come down here. Can't risk no Pikmin. I'll probably have an excess amount once I get to the thing. And I'm pretty sure the pellet posies are being random, too. Like, some of these, um... There's not supposed to be enemies here during the first day, so... I'm imagining it's, it's food pellets that got turned into these. It's like they have them inside, too. I see another one of these things up there. 
Frank Klein ones. Can't risk any Pikmin dying. These things are only supposed to be in water. Okay. It handles a day one extinction, but you end up soft locked on day two. Like, the game just doesn't let you, like, go to the Forest of Hope anymore if that happens. Oops. I've never really explored much of Pikmin glitches. I wonder what, how they work. That thing heals a bit. Alright, good. I wonder if any have been fixed on the new HD version. I kind of want to do, like, a vanilla playthrough of um, all the Pikmin games now. Like, I'm feeling the hype for that. Only played, like, the GameCube version of one... Uh, years ago at this point on the stream. Okay, all of those are taken out. Looks like it's safe to pick the Pikmin now. He's about to become a flower. You leave them in the wall there for a little bit, or the ground for a little bit too long, they start to become a flower Pikmin. Ah, there it is. Okay. Thank you, friend. I appreciate it. All right. I need to see all that. Especially if I do end up playing the HD, we can watch the cutscenes and text again there. But for now, let's get comfy with this. Extraordinary. When I pluck the sprout, there's a Pikmin in there. Alright, go for it, lad. Don't worry. I single-handedly took everything out. Now this little friend doesn't have to worry about it. Does anyone know, like, if you have any experience with the randomizer? I'm curious if, like, something like, um, the BD long legs can just kind of show up. Like, at the impact site right here. That would be incredibly funny. I haven't played Pikmin 2 in such a long time. And I played Pikmin 3 once when it came out on Wii U. I have the Switch version sitting on my, like, sitting on my shelf, but I just haven't played it. Okay. Three for those. How much are these things? Five. Well, it is a later enemy, so whatever. Don't have enough Pikmin, though. Only four. Um, there's also a few mods of Pikmin, too, I want to check out. <clears throat> Pardon me, geez. Bosses only replace bosses with the rando. Okay, good. Hmm. Is this also three? Or is it five, because it's a bull bear? Okay, good. The Pikmin's pathfinding AI can be infamously a little bit awkward in Pikmin 1. Yeah, my brother Dylan's played a few Pikmin 2 mods. I don't know much about them, but I remember, like, when I raided his stream the other day, he was playing something called Beakman, and it was Pikmin 2, and he killed an enemy, and a Glaceon Smash Brothers trophy popped out of it as the treasure, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, maybe I'll play this someday. <laughs> There was another one he played, like Pikmin New Year. Maybe I'll ask him about setting those up. But for now, I wanted to give the randomizer a try, because randomizers are just really fun. Okay, if I just match A, it should go to thing uh, to each one. I wonder, is the randomizer compatible with challenge mode? That might be fun for a one-off on its own, too. But even though it can't really be competitive in that sense. Got a lot more Pikmin than I really should have right now. Okay. That button changed the camera. There we go. Pikmin are immune to fire. I have enough for that. Alright, lads, let's go. What are you sitting over there for? Get to work. One, two, three. All right. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Pikmin, um, the idea is that Olimar is very tiny. He crash-landed on this planet and needs to find all his ship parts to escape, which he needs the Pikmin for. And it's it's strongly imp implied by a lot of the objects, especially in later games, that this is, like, planet Earth. There we go. That's a lot of Pikmin. I forget the name of Olimar's, like, home planet. Was it, like, Hoku Tate or something like that? Yeah, it was that, Hoku Tate. 
I remember, like, I like Pikmin 2, but I remember that the cave system, like, I kind of got, like, annoyed with it after a certain point. Maybe I'd like it better going back to it now. I think the idea is that, like, there aren't humans around anymore, so all the monsters are, like, some kind of mutations. I know that... Oh, hang on. Alright, Pikmin are as curious as children. Playthroughs of Pikmin 1 can be... Oh. That's a different ship part. I guess they do randomize these. Amazing, there's no mistake in it. My ship's engine. No, the cutscene... No, it's that thing. Uh, this'll still let me leave, I hope. Alright. Alright. Oh. Uh, I don't have yellow Pikmin. I don't think I can reach that. Uh, only a few of them got it because of the way it landed. Okay. Just tutorial stuff. Yeah, playthroughs of Pikmin 1 can be a little bit, like, linear now, but Pikmin 1 is still really fun. And I would probably want to play it again with the HD version. Let's get this. Hoping no enemies show up. I gotta be careful of that. I can honestly walk into an arena and, like, the weird seagull snake thing will get me. So I only got the counter, but apparently that counts as an engine. Yeah, that's funny. The Geiger counter actually is, um tie into the lore a bit, because people say it's po post-apocalyptic -apoc Earth, and the fact that the counter is going off constantly when I was carrying it there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh I have to leave right away, alright. I kind of forgot about that. I didn't think about it. I thought I had to go back to the ship first. Whatever, I have more than enough Pikmin. I wonder if the nighttime cutscene has random enemies, too. No, I don't see anything. The idea is that most of the enemies on the planet are nocturnal, so they're sleeping during the day, but you have to fly up into the sky at night. Look at that. He launched the dolphin. Funnily enough, most of you should know this, but Olimar's ship is called the Dolphin because that was the GameCube's uh, prototype name. 29 parts. Go in the forest to hope. I always like ca the captain's log and stuff in Pikmin 1. Kind of wish there was more more stuff like that in Pikmin 2. Maybe it was the stakes in Pikmin 2 that maybe not like it as much as a kid. Still great, but it's more about like getting money than like surviving. Forest of hope. Wait, were there always that many parts? Okay, there's still two here. I need to be able to break the stone, so I have to get the yellow Pikmin. Uh, okay, so the game saved automatically. Voyage log, okay. If I get a really bad enemy roll, and it's clear that I should just reset, I probably will do that. Because if I get too many bad RNG days, I, the, the game will literally be impossible to finish. Alright, let's get in. Is that why they call the E-thing dolphin? Yep, that's the reason why it's called that. A, Forest of Hope music. Look at that. Sure up a little bit. Um, I don't see any enemies out there, but maybe they haven't loaded in yet. Okay. Oh, hey, it's just the freaking cannon beetle thing. Just chilling over there. That's cool. Okay, there's just fire chill in there as well. Let's go. Music is great. I remember for a good while no one could play Pikmin because uh, Forest to Hope music would just get claimed by Nintendo. All right. Okay, there's, oh, boy, stop. 
Okay. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a huge, huge problem. All right, boys, I'm gonna put y'all back into the ship and uh, we'll figure this out. It's gonna come in here. Okay. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Put them all away. Oh, okay, it hit me. There's no way for me to hit it myself. Okay, I can repair my ship there. Is he just gonna camp the onion? can't do that. Oh, I got hit by the fire. Wait, he's not moving. Okay, now he's moving. Oh, cool. He dies instantly. So, and he heals instantly. Alright then. Oh cool, the ones that just happen to come out the ship there, uh, they just die. You know, nothing we can do about that. Okay then. Oh cool, the mushroom thing is by the yellow onion. Looks like he's just gonna camp the onion, yeah. Don't have much of a choice here now, do I? Am I even gonna get a ship heart? So, remind me, how are you supposed to kill the smoky prog again? Because, is he like, made of water? Is it like, blue Pikmin can only hit him? Okay. Hi, yo, you're welcome. Take out two at a time. I gotta do something here, so... Oops, I hit it. Press the button preemptively there. Yeah, you know, just an endgame super boss just camping my uh, Pikmin spawn point by, uh, <laughs> on the second day. You know, no big deal. Nothing, nothing unusual about that. <laughs> At least I can get the Pikmin out, but the problem is when I take them back in. I can't carry anything to the ship like this. How much does this take? We got a comfy chair, 25. Oh, that's a problem. That is such a huge problem. Oh, man. I gotta do something to make progress. If I can at least activate the yellow... the yellow onion, I might be able to do it. The problem is Mushroom Boy is blocking the way. I don't think the red guys can kill Smokey, no. This is such a huge pro- like... He's in the thing, what am I supposed to do? Maybe I can... Grab a couple pellets with one Pikmin, maybe I can dupe him, I don't know. Can I even get anybody out? I don't know if I can. No, I physically can't hit him with Olimar, and he heals. Need to hit the, the head specifically because the black smoke kills them, okay. He's blocking the thing. 
he's stuck. Hang on. Can he get out of there? He can get out of there. Hang on. Hang on. You can shake them off, though. Lad, let's go. Come on. For the future of the red Pikmin. What is his AI doing? Oh, cool. There's another one. Oh, cool. Cool. There's another one. That's really fun. No, 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 not Jerry. Come back. Come on, lads. All right. All right. Lost a few. Lost a good man there. Might be. I might be able to do this. Hang on. I might be able to do this. The AI is so confused right now. I think it's trying to wait. What? What? Is it? Is it going over the wall? No. Oh. Crap. Okay, flowers is good, but no, no, get out of there. Get out of there, lads. No. The Pikmin AI is so bad for doing that. Okay, they broke down the wall. Damn it. Okay. This is an awkward spot. Yeah, we know. I know, Olimar. I know. I gotta watch them. At least I have the I had the bridge and stuff being taken care of. Crap. Crap. Come on. I don't want the Pikmin to die, but sometimes I have to do, do something to deal with these things. Stuck? I think he might actually be stuck this time. Hold on, I shouldn't move. I don't want to mess with his AI anymore. I think I got him. I think I got him. Stay stuck. Oh, we got him. We got him. Let's go. The four lads took him down. Uh, the pearl. Well, you know what? Just take it to the onion. We could use the extra boys. Look at that. Okay, they're still working on that. Let them keep at it. Still going. Oh, boy. Now we got Purple Boy to deal with. Alright, I did not hit his head clearly. I gotta take these guys out. Take him out. It's too late to throw. I might lose a few Pikmin, but I've gained a lot more. Okay. Maybe I should try and ignore the mushroom guy. I don't have the time for that anymore. Thank you for the sub there, friend. I appreciate it. Here, let me enlarge my screen a little bit more. There's a the yellow onion. Mushroom Boy seems to be running away. I think I should go for it. I 
we need to get him out of the way. Oh, crap. Only a few of them started reaching at the end there. Red Pikmin do have more attack power, right? I can't remember if that's something that, um... Oh, great. Can't remember if that's something that, uh... Crap. Was added in later games or not. Okay, it wears off, it wears off. Purple Pikmin are back to normal. Okay. I'm gonna run out of time here. They do, that's their trait. Well, that and being able to survive fire. I thought that was something that Pikmin 2 added, but like, Pikmin 1 doesn't like communicate it properly. It's like, like a random chance of the, the ship's log telling you, I think. Oh, the bridge got finished. Okay, nice. Okay. No, no, no. Lads, come here. Okay. It'll be fine. I need to uh, get yellow Pikmin now while I have a chance. All right, we got the yellow lads. Their whole thing is that they survive electricity and get can be tossed higher than the other ones. They they weigh less. Okay. So in order to take something to the yellow onion, there primarily has to be more yellow Pikmin in the group trying to carry. Okay, well, at least they're helping. Okay. Just need a bit more yellows here. Waste a bit of time. Okay, they can handle that fight. They can handle the fight. Just one. Yeah, they can carry it back just fine, I hope. Hang on. Is there no quick... Oh, crap. Pikmin 1 doesn't have a quick switch, does it? I forgot about that. Come here, please. Oh my god. How annoying. I just need yellow Pikmin here, please. It's so hard to build these up right away. Okay, while they do that, I need to finally try and get enough Pikmin to, uh... Oh, that one tripped. I forgot they do that, too. I need to get that at least one ship part here. It'll be easy to get it tomorrow, but I'm running out of time. I can pick all these Pikmin tomorrow. Which one is Steve? I don't know. One was named Jerry. He was the brave hero that helped us take out. Okay. As long as they get it to the opening... Or, not the opening, the what, the, uh... What you thing? What am I trying to say? The impact site. The landing site. Impact sites in a different area. How are they gonna make it? Come on, lads. Let's go. Let's get the yellow fellas. They'll make it. We can grow more yellow ones tomorrow. All that matters is that we unlock them. They're gonna make it! They're inside. They're good. It's right there, so it's might as well have been caught. It's good. As long as it's inside the site. All right, the yellow ones will be fine. They'll make it just fine. Get all the way back there. So that was a very stressful second day. I had to pretty much fight a smoky prog. But on the bright side, I got like, what, 100 Pikmin for it? I probably should have just like let the yellow ones carry it, but it was right next to the red onion anyway, so it was probably just more efficient. The Pikmin in the ground will stay there. I can pick them tomorrow. If they're in the ground, they're safe. Because they just look like a plant. Two days since the impact. Appears many of the ship's parts have landed in this region. Yeah, check your radar. There seem to be many hostile life forms. Yeah, go back to your ship to heal. 
I like how the tutorials are explained in the form of ship's logs. I love that graph of Pikmin population. It's so <laughs> fun, unless... You see, we lost 20 in battle, but we sprouted 107. None of them were left behind. Don't worry. Okay, I'd say we can save. Let's see if I can get multiple ship parts this day now. I got six yellow Pikmin. There's some in the ground. Forced to hope. Okay, let's do it again. See? The ship part stayed there. I like how the things stay where you leave them. Very novel idea in 2001. So let's pick these guys right quick. But I also need to get the yellow Pikmin sprouting today as well. Welcome. Hope you're all having a fun little morning. I'm pretty excited to be playing this. It might take a bit to get to the end. Maybe I will have to split this up into two VODs. I thought maybe to a total playthrough would be like, what, five hours? But that, give or take RNG, probably be two massive VODs I end up uploading for this. But let's just get comfy and have fun. Do this. Did things reset when you turn off the GameCube? Does it? I'm unaware of that. First, I'm hearing of it. Alright. Pick this up. I didn't realize there was a bull bear over there. They may be called... They may have bear in their name, but they're not very friendly looking. They spook me. I got my chair. It's an important ship part. Okay. All right, Red Pikmin, you go ahead and do that. Let's take you guys out so we can start sprouting them. All right, lads, it's time to work together. We're gonna find your blue brothers soon enough. Then I'm gonna get the bombs for the yellow Pikmin. Does anyone know if the HD version of um, Pikmin 1 has added the quick switch? In Pikmin 2, I'm pretty sure if you, um, press, like, D- like, uh, the D-pad, you can switch, like, what Pikmin group is up front, so I can easily throw a yellow one or a blue one if I need to. Because I remember every time I play Pikmin 1, I'm like, oh man, I- I missed that. Okay. Good. You go ahead and take that. Wii Motion Plus version did? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the Wii version did do that. All right, let's take out some enemies now. I'm not landing directly on his head because I have no depth perception, apparently. I'm going to need a lot of backup Pikmin in this playthrough, that's for sure. Grab the yellow ones for these. The red ones got enough. But over here, there's fire, so you guys should just handle this. Oh, cool. You. Get him, little. Get him, boys. This guy picks your Pikmin up and he throws them back into the ground. Okay. Anyone can grab these. That's fine. Now, there's another bridge over here we gotta work on. More stuff up along the way. No, no, no! No, no, no! Don't go in the water, you idiots! They followed the stink bug into the water. Of course they did. Oh, right, I need the blue ones to make the other bridge. I forgot about that. Alright. Alright. You guys grab this. Let's make some progress over here. Hang on. I'll let the yellow ones carry these. Grab the pellets. Okay, or not. 
Now hold up. Let me grab this with the yellow one. And the red ones can do this. All the enemies in, are in ship parts are randomized. As you can probably tell from the, uh, the tadpoles floating around everywhere. During day two, I had the smoky prog uh, enter my crash site, and I had to kill it with a couple red Pikmin. There was another one wandering in the back, but uh, I don't think I need to worry about that one now. Hang on. Are there yellow ones in the ground over here? No. Get rid of this thing. Stop it. Just dismiss them. Or not. That'll be fine. They're holding bomb rocks, another thing that yellow Pikmin can just do, apparently. Don't get eaten. Don't get eaten. Ah, oh, cool. You're over there. That's fantastic. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, that's gonna come right for us as soon as I bring that down, huh? Well... Guess I better move out of there and leave this him for later. If you break any walls, they stay broken, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, I need you guys to take the other three so I can take it back to the crash site. We may as well take this stuff along the way. Over here is a more rocks. Uh, crap, if I throw the rocks from this side though, then they all break, right? I forget how this will work. Will they all go off? Okay, yeah, they all went off. That's good. This will open a shortcut back to, um... Okay, there's another... Oh, the secret safe! That's the final boss item. It's over there now. Hang on. I got two bomb rocks. Only two yellow Pikmin. There's more rocks over there. This is fine. Alright. There are a bunch of ship parts that don't matter. I don't remember which five uh, which five it is, though. But for all I know, the final boss could have an important part anyway, so I have to get them all. So I, j I, I should always assume that I need all 30. Hang on. While I have the chance here. I think you can multi-stack them, but I'm worried- I'm always worried I'm gonna accidentally kill them with the, the explosion there. Okay, before anything else, I'm not playing the most efficiently here, but it's whatever. The random enemies just kind of slow you down quite a bit, don't they? I should take some red Pikmin to take out the beetle. Let's get these. Five of the parts are optional, yeah. The final boss's one is normally the secret safe, the, the big piggy bank. Bro, what are you doing? Get out of there! He just went into my landing zone and did that to him. Okay. Grab the stone one. All right. Yeah, no, you're you're we're cu you're cutting that out right now. What happens if he grabs one with a bomb rock? Oh, I guess we're about to find out. Oh! He took himself out! And the yellow Pikmin got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy accidents, everybody. Happy accidents. Okay. Let's pick some Pikmin and go get some stuff. Alright. It might not even be the cannon beetle thing there. Do you guys call it a beetle or a spider? I just call it a cannon beetle. Because it shoots like the big boulders. I guess it is more of a spider, but I always just called it a beetle now that I think about it. Alright, you can stay there in case I need you. You're on standby with the rocks. Alright. What are they beating up? Oh. Just that. Alright. Having more Pikmin on backup is good. Alright, I should get these guys started on this wall, though. The black walls take longer to destroy, of course. 
There's more for yellow. Oh, he got left out. Hang on, let's take a little bit of you guys back. Uh, wanted a little less, more than that. Whatever. Anything I break today can just be used again tomorrow, it's fine. Okay, not enough for this. Just get this. Go, lads, go. It is a beetle. It's called the- it actually is just called the Armored Cannon Beetle, okay. I'm well, happy to know. It's a good thing I didn't get another Smoky Prog wandering around. There's normally, um... Oh. My power just flashed. Oh, that's cool. Well, if I lose power, you know what happens. I think it the- I thought the storm stopped. Ah, it should be fine. The stream dies suddenly, you know why. Is that a bull bear in the water? That is a bull bear in the water. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess they're aquatic now. Let's see if I can go get the secret safe before the day ends. Okay, they're almost done. Perfect. There's another one up there. Wait, don't I need 100 Pikmin? Or like 50 for the secret safe? Pikmin will always attack the Pelicosies. There's another stone wall. There's the radar in there. Oh, Pikmin died. Great. Hang on. Ah, oh, great. You guys need to go away. There's too many enemies just around here, and the bug is just, like, messing with the AI because they always go to attack it. All right, let's get this. Okay, it's 40. I got enough for this. If the Pikmin were like little Teddy Ursas, I couldn't be able to physically handle playing this game. I would break down in tears every time one died. That's probably why the Pikmin are so like expressionless for the most part. Because if you played this as a kid, you probably feel bad when the Pikmin die, right? Like imagine if like they were more cute looking. They're, I think they're just cute enough as they are with the eyes. They're like ants. The final part. My secret safe. Well, we did it, chat. The final part. The final part. We're done. Game's over. I've technically beaten it. Everything after this is now a, a bonus. There's still a tadpole roaming around. Hold up. The ones... Yeah, you guys should be done with that. Let's see if I can get... Oh, I see another mushroom over there. And playing this game always kind of brings back memories of, like, when I would play, like, the, my, the GameCube setup at, uh, set up at my grandma's house. I'd play a bunch of, like, Sonic Adventure 2 and everything. Pikmin was always a nice thing to turn on every once in a while, especially with a challenge mode. Olimar's making bank. I got my most important parts. My bank and my seat. Secret safe, the final part. It's as heavy as ever. Two more. That means I can unlock the, uh, next... Uh, the next area. I may have had a slow second day, but that's okay. Hang on. I'm not gonna have enough time to go get the other, um... To go get more rocks, but I can at least use this to throw one at that. Bro, what are you doing? Is it... Okay, there you go, you figured it out. It Did it absorb the blast? No, it's a harder stone wall, so... Alright, I'll just have to get more rocks tomorrow. They do respawn. Yeah, you guys can carry that together. Or just you. He'll make it. Don't worry. I got a ship part today, so I call that progress. Uh. Crap, who's unaccounted for?
There's one missing somewhere, chat. Two of them missing, sorry. I can't count. Are they in the ground? Wait! The... The ones that the, uh, the bug guy threw into the ground outside the landing site. I don't think I got them back. That might be it. Smoky Prog took half a day a kill, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. Hang on, I can't see from this angle. They should be alive, I hope. Do the count is being left behind? Well, it's, if you leave Pikmin behind, it shows an animation of them running for the ship as, an, as a monster eats them. Okay, there isn't any there, so I'm safe. Three days since impact. I now add yellow Pikmin to the list of discoveries. They can wield bomb rocks. It says none were left behind, so I think it was the ones in the ground from the bug. Smooth populations there. We got uh, 69 yellow ones. I'm making decently good progress, despite uh, the slowdown we had to deal with for the second day. Let me see if I can get them. Okay, now there's that, that pellet up there is a yellow 10. Just take this opportunity to get more yellow Pikmin. Hold up, let me see if they're there. There's two in the field. Yeah, they're there. Some of those pellets or bull blares got replaced by fire geysers. That's cool. Uh, I don't see another one. There it is. And now we play the hope there's not a smoky prog spawned in and heading towards me. Because that thing can and will follow me. Alright. The second day had two of those boys. Let me take out 15. Or, that's 14, but whatever, good enough. The enemies refresh and are random every day. So even if I reset, it'll be they'll be different. I just noticed the glowing mushrooms. Those aren't supposed to um, be an enemy or anything. Oh god. Hang on a second. That thing is just gonna fly wherever the hell it please, ain't it? Yeah, kill him. Get rid of him. Come on. Bro, you are... You are literally the worst thing ever right now. Get out of here. The amoeba guy? Isn't that Pikmin 2? I want to say that's Pikmin 2 only. Bro, get your- get, get over here. Get- get over here. The Pikmin aren't fast enough to be behind me, so I can't- can't throw them on it. Yeah, good. Take him to the mothership. Its corpse will satiate it. Ugh. How aggravating. This is why this enemy normally isn't super close to the landing sites. Alright, let me put the red Pikmin back in. So we can do try this again. Try this again. Bro, I put you all away. Whatever. They can come with too, I suppose. They want to be included. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I need to go get rocks now so I can break down that other wall. Take a couple yellow Pikmin. I need at least six. I should take more in case I lose a couple along the way. Hang on, I'm, I may as well use this up. Okay, they weren't fast enough. Alright. They're not inside the can, are they? Hang on, what's in the boss arena right now? Oh, it's the mushroom guy. So that means he's the one that should have the part. He might be much easier to kill. Alright, first, let's just focus on breaking the rocks. And hope that there's not any scary enemies in the way. 
Okay, maybe I should clear some stuff out. Yeah, great. Okay, they caught up. Let's get the red ones out. I'm gonna get a drink here. The red Pikmin got the attack power. Should be able to handle this, especially if I give them some of the nectar. Alright. Trying to do this as safely as possible because I could very easily just walk into an enemy and or walk into an empty spot and a boss just pops out of nowhere. Well, not really a boss. Does the seagull count as a boss? It doesn't have like music. Then again, do any of the bosses have music in this game? I don't remember. Take this stuff, because the yellow Pikmin will definitely try and pick it up along the way. Come here, lads. Hey, get him. Get him. Get the grub. Only the final boss has a theme. I think you're right, yeah. And over here. And now that we've done that, before I deal with anything else, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a group of red Pikmin started on this thing over here. Oh, right. That blocks the way. I forgot. Well, I can always get the ship part over here then. I forgot that there was a water thing there, so I can't easily get them in. Never mind. I have to come back with blue Pikmin. May as well take out all these bugs. Take it up. Take the bull bear as well. The red ones with the white spots are called bull, bull blackses. Which is funny, because I think the small bull blackses are actually bread bugs, but they're just trying to imitate the, uh, the large ones. Which is really random, but I'm pretty sure the Pikmin 2 encyclopedia logs actually say that's what they are. I don't really need to pick all these, actually. So for now, let's just put them back in. Let's go deal with the stone wall first. And then I'll get a group, two groups of Pikmin to come pick up the other ship parts. Probably should have got the group of red Pikmin on that ship part in the opposite direction, but whatever. Again, I think I'm doing this slowly, but I... I always end up blowing things up when I use too much. Will the final boss be random? Um, I hope so. Because I hate fighting Emperor Bulblax. Speaking of Emperor Bulblax, um, Pikmin 2, the Empress Bulblax always freaked me out as a kid. You know the one where, like, it's basically like a giant worm and it just rolls over your Pikmin? That just ter terrified me as a child. Ugh. There we go. Pikmin enemies are sometimes, like, freakier than Metroid enemies. Oh, yeah, and the babies, the larvae that come out of it. Wait, can they be called larvae? What the hell even are they? Is that the smoky egg? <laughs> oh, no, that's the one that has the ship part. I can't open that. At least it's in an egg this time. Actually, based on a termite queen. Well, I, remind me to never Google that. Oops. Nature both terrifies and fascinates me. Come on. One more. Alright. This is fine. Now let's go ahead and get you guys all started here. Keep that one with the bomb rock, just in case. Yeah, stand over there. In case we need them later. Leave these guys in the ground to just sprout. Nature can be freaking brutal, yeah. 
You want to see a really scary creature on Earth? Whatever you do when you're on Google, never Google the words human. You will you will find a really messed up creature that has done all sorts of screwed up things on this planet. It's not for the faint of heart. I don't recommend looking that one up. Let's go get that there. Yeah, I can take it. More rocks here. The bow spirit. Uh, can they not get it? Wait. Wait. I thought that can lid was preventing them from picking it up. They're kind of struggling to get it. Yeah, how, there, you, there they go. The AI is kind of buggy with that stuff, I swear. All right. Oh, I see another one up there. Let's see here. Okay. I need a little bit of these guys back, though. Need at least 30 on me, I think. Not exactly enough. It's day four. We're about to get two ship parts. Whimsical radar. This will let me see the map. Okay, perfect. I thought it might be 20, but it's always better to overestimate. So-called face of the dolphin. In point of fact, I designed it. That's just a fire geyser. Don't worry about it. Uh, I can't really go to where the smoky prog is. Uh, did you just get left behind there, little friend? What? 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 Did you guys just see that? What happened? The Pikmin just like melted into the ground while it made some kind of moaning noise. What, what just happened? Huh? Yeah, somebody clipped that. I, I didn't see what was ca happening. Okay, now I can go to the next area. We can get blue Pikmin, I hope. Getting to Blue Pikmin might- the Forest Nav was a very obnoxious place with a lot of parts. It can- it's easy to let your Pikmin die. It still says I'm out of 100, right? Yeah, there's still 100 on the field, so what happened? Uh, I don't have a clue at the, at the moment. Hang on. Oh, no, 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 don't- don't- don't do it. Damn, don't do it! Okay, there's Puppy Blowhog up there. I don't think I have enough time to get that, though. Ah! No! Ah, oh, crap, I didn't see it there! Crap, crap, crap! They're dead. Yep, they're dead. Oh, boy. Yep, oh, okay. Well, at least the counter went down this time. Okay, what is there left to do? Pick the Pikmin, I guess. There's not enough time to get another part. I genuinely don't know what the hell happened to those Pikmin. I just watched that yellow Pikmin, like, poof out of existence. Did it go back into the onion? Like, I don't know. So, I have five ship parts and it's day four. Uh, that's not too bad. I may as well just get a few more uh, things taken to the ships. While we're at it, you know. Hang on. Let the yellow one take this. Use the C-stick to kind of make them more narrow. A regular enemy can be replaced with a fire geyser, so that's why, like, the geysers are just kind of everywhere, if you're wondering. Sometimes the Pikmin just despawn, I don't know. I don't know either, that's why I'm wondering. 
I guess I can get this tadpole right quick. I'm lucky that I haven't had, like, another super boss enemy replace, like, any of the bullwaxes again, because those smoky progs just chasing me down is a nightmare. Alright, you got him. I guess we'll just pick our Pikmin, because we're going to go to the forest navel next time. I guess you can come with us. Oops. When you don't pluck a, a flower Pikmin in the ground, they eventually go back to a leaf. Is that what was happening? Like, it was getting ready to re-sprout, and I just didn't see it pop out again? I think I remember hearing something about that. Who did I- who's missing? Who's missing? One of the red ones got left behind. Oh, I'm coming for you, Jerry. Where is he? No! I couldn't see, it was too dark. I left him behind. A massacre yet again. I threw him up there. You were supposed to carry the red pellet with them, not stay behind. I did my job as a commander. He didn't listen. It's not my fault. Oh, he's dead. Four days since impact. The Pikmin I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may be well they have fallen prey to plants, nocturnal creatures, an ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. One dead. Oh. It wasn't a Teddy Urson, it's okay. It's just a Pikmin. A mostly faceless Pikmin. They have no mouths, they can't even scream, it's okay. We don't, they, our, their screams can't haunt our dreams, like this way. Okay. Got a good amount of Pikmin. Now, the forest navel can be very confusing to navigate, and it has... Looks like it has, like, one or two more parts than Forest to Hope. No, just one more. Let's do it. Getting a drink here. I thought I was crashing for a second. It was taking a while. Okay, lads. Let's do our best. There we go. 45 of you. And 44 of you, because I like to be uneven and special. Let's get started. Ketchup and mustard, get to work. Let's hope we don't get any enemies coming for us. Hang on. Okay, good, you took him out. Hold up. Oh no, you don't. Take this here. Pikmin are carrying a spoil, seem to be milling about in one place. Oh, yeah, I need to open up the gates so that the onion... Yeah, you can reach... They can reach the onions again. It's okay. Do that. Yep. Fix my seat a bit, don't worry. This is... Yeah, you have to open the gates in this place right away, or the Pikmin can't get back to the ships. Nice. Everybody is in such a Pikmin mood lately. That's kind of be expected. Them shadow dropping 1 and 2 in HD was pretty nice. Uh, I've, I had already been promising to do a Pikmin 1 rando for like a couple months now. And now was as good a time as any since I finished up some other playthroughs. Uh, let me see here. I'd be down to play the other ones, uh, vanilla playthroughs on stream too. 
Okay. Don't know if I'm if I'd be getting to like uh, four at launch though. Here we go. I've still barely had time to even like play much more Tears of the Kingdom on my own. You see, I kind of like haven't like touched that in over a week because I just decided to like focus on finishing editing up that video. Probably gonna have a day off sometime this week and just enjoy that. All right. Let's go, lads. Okay, more grubs. Better just get these things out of the way. Oh, what? They actually got him? That's annoying. Why are they taking the long way? It's weird. Is there just nothing there this time? Wow. No nectar at all. Alright then. There's a stone wall. Hang on, let's get the bull bear out of the way. First, let's focus on clearing out the enemies. I've made another discovery. Uh, yeah, we already had this discovery, Olimar. We did that when I got the pearl. Kill him. Okay, no... Nothing there yet. Okay, let's get you working on that. There goes the bug. I need to find some bomb rocks. Okay. I can't remember if this is true or not, but I remember someone saying when I played this years ago that the days the, the clock moves faster in certain areas. Is that true? Or am I misremembering with like a different game? I could be. Well, there's the blue onion. I could just go get that now. I should probably get these guys to just take care of, um, the sticks over here. Oh, that's a big part for that. Can they even grab that? Or will they just fall off? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I need to- I better find out. Hang on. The glue on drive. I think- might be picking- might be thinking of Pikmin 2 where time stops when you're in a cave. I might be. Okay, it looks like they can hold it, but I'm worried. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They can't. Oh, no! Hold up. Hold up. If I throw a yellow Pikmin on the side here like this. Uh-oh. Hold up. I can't fit 50 there. Oh, no. Is it just going to be trial and error by hoping they grab it? Oh, no. This is gonna be a freaking problem. This is gonna be a freaking problem. Oh. See Mushroom Boy over there. I don't know if I can actually get this because of how it's set up. Like. Some of them can grab it, but a lot of them are going to fall off because of, like, the way the part is on that platform. They can just all stay there for a second. Let me go get the blue onion first. I better take these bugs out. Oh, they die in the water. That's cool. I didn't know that. I guess that makes sense, but it's kind of surprising they programmed it that way. I gotta kill this thing on my own, though. Ugh. Well, a randomizer does kind of offer some unique challenges like this, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, good. At least the worms are dying when they come out. That's a really cool feature. I didn't realize that enemies were programmed to, like, just die in the water. That's some cool attention to detail. All right, we got the one with gills. Remember, it's not a mouth, it's gills. And it's just gonna zoom in on that corpse there. The corpses of like the bull blacks and stuff always freaked me out as a child. Come on. Blue Pikmin are probably some of the most important 
simply because like being able to take them in water is just, it does so much for the game. No, you didn't. Can't take them out. It's fine. Because there's already a hundred in the field. As long as I have some in the onion for later. Oops. This is gonna be a bit of a pain. As long as there's some... Like, I've gotten the onion. That's all that matters. Great. This is gonna be rough. But I might be able to still do this. Halfway there. Chat, do you think I can get it? Do you think I can get it? I can't risk blowing my whistle because it'll call some of them down. I need to go back and get some more Pikmin first, though. Luckily, I can use the shortcut here to get Olimar up. So, yeah, I think I should focus on that ship part more than anything else first. Okay. Oh, right. There's already enough in the field. Oh, the ones that finished the bridge are done. Totally forgot about them, to be honest. I see a cannon beetle. I see a sleeping bull bear. What is that? Oh, it's a steam, the steam geyser. All right, we're going to have to focus on this until we get it. I believe in you. I believe in you, lads. You'll find a way. Well, they deal with that. Let's just go up here. It's gonna take a few tries to get them all up there for sure, yeah. 35. Like, they're landing on the middle of the part, and it makes it very easy for them all to slide off, but if I send a big group up there, they all can't go the same way. Oh, we almost got it. If I can get just get this ship part, I'll be satisfied for the day. Okay. Kind of hard to keep them all together in this specific spot. Throwing takes longer, though. This should be enough. Come on, one more. Yay, they got it! They did it! Let's get him back here. We don't want him to end up like Jerry did last time. I don't know, um... I know that there has been some bug fixes of this randomizer. Like, they have updated it a few times, even since Dylan played it. Uh-oh. This might be a problem. Who's drowning? How did you get over there? No! Couldn't get him in time. He didn't make it. Uh, wh wh where'd the park go? Did they get it through? They made it, okay. For a split second, I thought it may have just dropped through the frickin' floor into the void. <laughs> there actually is a ship part that that can happen to now that I think about it. I think there's like, it's like one of the two emeralds or something can accidentally bounce off and just fall off the cliff and you can't get it anymore. I was super worried. If there's a, if there is another glitch to discover in this rando, you know I'm gonna be the one to find it. Imagine if Pikmin could have viewer's name. Uh, that would be pretty bad. And then the Pik- If you could name the Pikmin- Oh man, that would be bad. Is that? That's Emperor Bullblax. He's replacing Beanie Longlegs. 
in the uh, the arena. Okay, so we have confirmation that Emperor Bull Blacks can be outside of the final boss area. I have no idea how it works, but it means the dolphin will lift again, or lift off again. Okay, day five, six parts, not bad. So, I got the blue Pikmin, everything else I do today is a bonus, so... I couldn't find- I don't remember where the bomb rocks are, to be honest. So... That's fine. Hang on, what I should do, I should put my Pikmin away so I can use the blue ones to get more stuff over there. There's probably a Pikmin-like game with Twitch integration. Um, I haven't seen too many- ooh, voice crack there. Too many Pikmin likes on Steam or anything like that. Emperor Bullblax is just, yeah, it's either just, like, march your, a bunch of Pikmin to your death, or, uh, throw bomb rocks at them. I don't remember what I usually do, but I think he's pretty easy when you know... Oh, there's that blue one. Okay, perfect. Let's, uh... Let's get that pellet there first. No, 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 not the pellet the pellet. Come on, Tommy, you can do this. Take them all out. So we're just gonna use the extra time to grow a bunch of blue Pikmin. Fortunately, that pellet right there is in a bad spot. And that bug keeps going away. Alright, I got a little too close. Can I break the geysers? I don't actually remember. Hang on. Alright, I got one. I just want that one pellet. So pick it up. Bro! Yeah, okay. Well, we lost one good guy. The sacrifice will be remembered. Pick up the pellet. Alright, let's pick him. Hang on, the other ones are in the... the onion landing site, I think. I played Pikmin with my subscribers, and here's what happened. And it's just... the thumbnail is just me, like, um... Doing, like, one of those meme faces. Oh, crap! Do you see that? There's some left behind. Those guys are safe in the ground. We're not gonna make it, man. We're not gonna make it. I got one! I got one! See, I rescued that one yellow Pikmin. The rest of them didn't make it, though. We did all we could. Remember, a doctor can't save every patient. To save life, you have to be able to accept death. Well, sorry guys. That's just how it is. Oh no, they're getting crushed by the Wallywog. Uh, deep in the cave, I discovered the blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me. Okay. Make another save. Only 13 blues there. So I picked up one... Could go back to Forest of Hope. It would be a good way for me to also get more Pikmin. Because uh, before I go back to the Forest Navel, I'm probably gonna want more to grow more blue Pikmin as well. And I got the red Pikmin if I got a boss to deal with here. I can use blue Pikmin to get a few more ship parts here as well. The enemy got renamed to the Wally Hop in EU versions. Oh, is that... Is that term, like, uh, rude over there? 
know that happens some sometimes. And there's a tadpole. I hear something stomping around. There's a bull bear. Come on. Let's take out the red Pikmin to kill some things first. Well, the music for Forest to Hope is nice, but Forest Nabble... It's probably better if I go there with an excess amount of Pikmin. Because if it happens to be that, like, another smoky Prog spawns in... Uh, I don't want them to, I don't want it chasing down my Pikmin while I'm running around doing stuff, you know? Okay, there's a Blowhog over there. Okay. There we go. I know that for similar reasons, um, the cover of Left 4 Dead 2 had to be changed for certain parts of the world. Like, for Left 4 Dead 2, it's just a picture of a zombie hand holding up, like, two fingers, but, um, I guess in some parts of the world, that's kind of like the equivalent of, like, holding up, like, the middle finger, so they changed it to something else. There we go. The purple balloon thing is annoying. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Alright, good. Take out the bugs. I'm gonna let the blue Pikmin carry the spoils back. Okay, perfect. There's a blue pellet there, too. Let's get this tadpole. Dude, bro, where is it? Okay, good. Okay, let me put all the red ones back. I only have 13 blue ones in the onion, so... I need to definitely spawn a lot more of these. Reds and blues feel like the most important ones to have, like, a lot of. You, and you naturally end up with a lot of red ones because they're the ones you start with. It also helped that I got the the pearl from the Smoky Prog. In Blue Pikmin, you get last, so it's easy to let have them, like, fall behind in numbers. There's only one other part in the impact site, and I need all three Pikmin types to get it. But most of the day there can also be spent getting more Pikmin. Alright, let's get this. Bro, just pick up the pellet. May as well let them suck the nectar, because why not? Alright, let's pick the Pikmin. Let me get a drink here. Apparently, the Switch versions of Pikmin 1 and 2 kept the renamed uh, Frog to the Wally Hawk for all countries. That's interesting. It also kind of reminds me of a thing. Um, I remember that Mario Party 8 had to be recalled in Europe. Because um, there's like a part where Kamek says like a bunch of magic words, and they're like... They're just a bunch of random gibberish, but it just so happens that one of the things he says is uh, a not-so-nice thing to say over in the UK, I think? It may have been the UK or somewhere else. And because of that, they had to physically recall all the discs. Man. <laughs> that sounds unfortunate. So I guess officially it's called the Wally Hop now. Alright, that's fine. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, don't go in the fire thing. Probably the safest bet to just change it for the HD version. Alright, so let's get started on breaking this. Okay, good. I hope he can't eat through the fence. They should be able to take it if they break it. Break it down, I hope. What? Oh, so much for my optimism. Don't die already. <laughs> okay, that's annoying. Wall hacks, bro, I know. I already got the parts over there, so I'm not gonna worry much about that. Hey, you come here. Let's focus on getting some more blue Pikmin here. Blue ones are cool. You know what always bothered me about Pikmin 3, though? Pikmin 3 introduces the rock Pikmin, but... Functionally, they're almost identical to the purple Pikmin. So, it just felt, felt weird to me that they got rid of the purple Pikmin in exchange for, like, rocks. 
Because the purple Pikmin only showed up in three in the challenge mode or something, right? It just seemed like a really weird change to me. Like, I don't hate the rock Pikmin, but it's like, why? Like, purple Pikmin just did that, and they had, like, a more unique design to them. Oh, that's, that's fire, and I'm uh, and I'm stunned, and I'm stunned. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, that's great. Well, fantastic, they're dead. We can get we can get more of them. We have the technology. Just stay away from the fire. These random fire geysers are making red Pikmin way more important. Oh yeah, white Pikmin are were kind of overpowered. I definitely understand why they um wanted to, like, uh, keep those out of the main story. White Pikmin were poisonous, so all you had to do was feed an enemy one White Pikmin, and it basically died instantly. Okay. They were basically just like, you know, <laughs> you just send them in, and bam. The downside is you couldn't keep a lot of them, because you had to use the flowers instead of the onions. Okay. All right, let's get this. Wasn't tapping the button. Let's focus on that gate over there. Actually, what I also need to do is work on that bridge over there. So I need do need more blue Pikmin. All right, let's just keep gathering stuff. As I, I can definitely get a ship part today, so it's not like I'm wasting time by gathering stuff. The random fire geysers need to make me plan out accordingly, though. Oh, nice. Blue pellet. Okay. Alright, now while they're getting more, you guys come here. We're gonna take them through the water, so we can get this. I don't remember what part this is. Nothing over here. There's that over there, the water spot. Where did this bull bear come from? Well, he's gonna die now. He came to the wrong neighborhood. Bro, <laughs> I thought he was dead. Looked like he did the death animation. How many parts? I have six out of 30. It's day six, and I should be getting another one quite soon. All right, let me pick these. Do this. Come on. Okay, the guys are done the fence. I can see them carrying back the dead uh, tadpole there. Is it a tadpole? I don't know what to call it. Annoying, I'll call it that. Okay. There's probably some left behind there, but... Let's keep dealing with this over here. You know what? I probably should get this. It always takes so long to get the nectar. There we go. There we go. This will speed things up. I'm not sure what the world record is for getting all 30 ship parts. Doesn't it, like, at minimum take at least 20 days, or is it, like, lower than that? get this. Ten days? Really? I'm way off. I must be thinking of something else. Okay, now I need to get rid of these enemies. Oh, boy. Can I not aim with this thing? 
I totally forgot that these things eat the bridge. Ain't that annoying. If I can at least get that one ship part over there, it's fine. Hang on. Okay, looks like there's none over there. Don't have enough time to break that gate. There's nothing else here. No, it's even lower than that. Six days? That sounds pretty wild. For all 30 ship parts? Is that even possible? Some incredible micromanagement. Or is there some kind of, like, glitch that lets you, like, multiply the Pikmin fast right away? Alright. Either way, I met my goal today. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of, uh, blue Pikmin and get a ship part. Okay, this is fine. No, oh, come on. There's out-of-bounds glitches? Damn, how would the Pikmin pathfinding even work? Alright, first... Let's get the ship part. I got 52 on me, and this requires how much? Kronos Reactor. Yeah, they'll make it. Now everyone else can carry stuff back to make more blue Pikmin. Okay. I've gotten really lucky, and I haven't seen, like, more smoky progs coming to kill me. That's good. Nice. Let's take these. Those tadpole things, I don't even know if they can hurt me. It always feels like I need to spend, like, a good chunk of a day growing blue Pikmin after you get them. Because they're just so important for so much. Force to Hope can be done entirely in day two. Without blue Pikmin, very precise throws can get reds and yellows through the water. Now, I knew there were some exploits with that, but that sounds really impressive. That would be really impressive to, like, watch or even, like, learn how to, like, do. But Pikmin is all about, like, learning to optimize your time. Well, you do get a large window for that, of course. Alright, that's seven parts in six days. Hang on. Okay, looks like they're all here. Sounds like something could go horribly wrong and just ruin the whole run, though. Alright. 78 blue Pikmin. Repair the suit, not like it matters. Oh boy. Really is six days for all 30 parts, huh? That's ri sounds ridiculous, yeah. Okay. The only other two areas to unlock are the Distant Spring and, um, the Final Trial. The Final Trial only has the one ship part. And I could very well roll a not-so-troublesome boss for that. We got a good chunk of blue Pikmin, but only one ship part. I at least took down that wall in the water, though. Hmm, now I could go back to the forest navel next. I could do that. You're telling me the speed run will be done right now? Well, clearly I'm too slow. I should just start over. Oh boy, loud car going by outside. Jeez. Rev that engine a little louder, why don't you? Increased, uh, inc increased swiftness. Jeez, I can't talk. 
Today's change in Pikmin population looks good. Total of four left behind. Nice. Yeah, you heard that one. There's no way you didn't hear that one. It was so loud. Okay, make a save. All right, I've returned to everybody. We're going to go ahead and continue. Need a quick break there. Say goodbye to the Teddy background screen. Oop. Okay. Now, I'm only missing three parts in the forest to hope, but I should just, like, get back to the forest navel now. Hmm. I did get a good chunk of blue Pikmin from that. But only one part. I want to say, if I'm super fast, I could get all three parts at the Forest of Hope. But, oh, also, yeah, I left behind some Pikmin to grow. That's good. Let's just pick them right quick. 17. Hopefully we don't have any more giant ship parts on small platforms, because that could get pretty rough. No Gulix yet. Oh boy, is Gulix that thing that's at the impact site? You take out 30 red Pikmin. I'm gonna need some more yellow ones along the way. Because I'm gonna need bomb rocks. Can't carry bomb rocks between locations. Alright. We got a good variety here. It appears on odd number days after day nine. I think I remember that weird detail, you're right. All right. Yeah, I don't know how I'm hitting you guys there. Okay. Let me just let them get this. So we could still use more blue Pikmin. Go ahead and grab that over there. And the boss arena has Mushroom Boy in there now. Where the heck are the, are the bomb rocks? I don't remember. Well, either way, I definitely gotta clear out a path. That one red Pikmin fell behind. I opened up the bridge last time. Okay, this is fine. Probably down here. There's also a mushroom. Oh, cool, this thing. And he's gonna fly up and down the cliff. I gotta open the bridge first. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Some of you come with me. We gotta, we gotta teach this guy a lesson. Bro. Bro. Kill him. Got him. You stop that. We don't need to take anything back right yet. Oh, great. What's exploding down there? Oh, cool. Another bug. Red bug. Hang on. There's something inside this guy. He has to be taken out. This is a problem. This is a problem. Run! Get away from him! Fantastic. Alright, he farted. Take him out. Oh, come on. Great, now there's you now you're here too. Oh, fantastic. I don't remember what you do about these other than just whistle and hope they stop. Turn it against me. Okay, there's the Wally Hop. You guys have some nectar, why don't you? Okay. Okay, I got the perfect spot. Okay, nice. Let's get rid of these tiny bugs, too. They're in the way. 
come to think of it is it guaranteed for the bread bug to even have the uh the ship part inside of it anymore if it's random uh oh great could be any one of the enemies couldn't it oh that's bad spot for you guys to be in Oh, they're gonna get caught. Oh, just finish them off, please. Can't jump anymore, can ya? No, you're dead! You're dead! Oh, and he just crushed them anyway. That's super unfortunate. One, two... Why... Why did you aggro? Why did you aggro? Why are you over here? Go away. <laughs> All right. Let's get rid of you. Y'all want to fight? Fine, I'll fight. Fine. Hit him already! He's almost dead! How are you not killing him? Oh my god. Bro! Bro! Y'all just stood there and did nothing! Ugh. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. All the enemies are done. They're out of the way now. And I got more Pikmin to show for it. Oof. It feels like there's a bug in this game sometimes where they won't hit the bulb orbs. Yep. Yeah, kind of feels like they don't it. Okay, I see a ship part up there. That's an optional one, the Nova Blaster, right? Hmm. I should get these guys up here working on this bridge. I'm working on this. So it looks like there's two ways to get... There's the bomb rocks. Okay, I see. This one's sleeping in the water. Okay, the bridge is active. It's time to go back and get the other ones. I've opened up most of the ways, but I really need those stone... Uh, the bomb rocks. Okay... I didn't lose that many Pikmin. I got almost, like, I got over 400 on backup. Look, I'm good. I'm good. The Bulwarb is drowning. Good. Good. You think I feel any sympathy for it? Hey, there's those other blue Pikmin I forgot. If I can at least get one ship part, I'm still making good pace per day, so that's fine. So far, the enemy spawns have just kind of been annoying for this, like, this day. Like, they're just kind of in the way. Also, I'm still... Why did that one bulb orb just, like, start making a beeline for me? There we go. I can always just outnumber all the enemies anyway, so it should be fine. Okay. At least no smoky frogs, yeah. Gimme, gimme. Lads, let's go. Let's get some more Pikmin numbers to make up for what I've lost. Two, three, four, five. And the blue ones can take the, the frog. Yeah, I see the cannon beetle over there, too. The other ones will probably go over that more easily. Get that ship part. We still got uh, less than half a day, but we're good. Alright, perfect. Get the red one's on this first. How much do we need? 30. Okay, perfect. It's just stressful, but we can do it. 
Okay, good. I was worried they would take the other direction first. Alright. So now you guys gotta build this bridge up here. Then I can get my hand... What? Where? 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 How? How? Where did I go wrong? How did I let that happen? How could that have even happened? Here, let me see if I can just take this guy out on my own. Oh no, he heals. I can't do it. Some enemies heal, like, tiny amounts of damage, just specifically so you can't just cheese them like that. Alright. He just decided... I think his pathfinding was trying to go around the rock and just, like, walk into the water. Pikmin won, everybody. <laughs> Pikmin are dumb. Sometimes that happens. It's part of nature. It's just realism here. I suppose I may as well just grab any random pellets while we're at it. Of course, I only got the red ones, but that's okay. Oops. Sounds like they're done with that bridge over there. Okay. Okay. Let's head down. Is there anybody left behind? Let's see. Yeah, the green ones are, are planted. Forest Navel's really not that large when you get down to it. And they're, yeah, they're making the bridge over there. There's another part in the water, that's right. The radar really is a good one to get. Like, I really like the idea of, like, some of the ship parts being for, like, specific, um, upgrades. That let you help, uh, find better stuff. It's not just, like, a number of, like, get this many parts. I kind of feel like that idea could have been expanded a bit more, but some of the treasures that unlock stuff in... Uh, I'll let these guys just carry this. Some of the treasures that unlock stuff in... Oh, I don't have enough, do I? Well, darn. Whatever, it's fine. The treasures that unlock extra features in Pikmin 2, I felt like they were a little underwhelming. Okay... Let me take these guys out of here first. Okay, good. Nova Blaster's there. Day is officially progress. Weapon of such incredible destructive force. Alright. Only a few here, but... Bro, don't walk into the water. I'm begging you. What's the difference between flower and leaf? Um, flower Pikmin move faster. So it's kind of sometimes worth it to do that. I don't remember if it actually buffs their attack power as well. Is that true? Okay. Now that we got this, we can start breaking down the stone walls. The leaf ones, uh, leaf ones also trip more often. Okay. So just, I should just break any stone wall, really. Because it makes for faster paths as well. Forgot how much of a chore it was to get the, the stone, uh, the, the bomb rocks for this. If I'm not mistaken, hang on, get out of there. Didn't they remove bomb rocks from Pikmin 2? Or am I thinking of uh, something else? I can't remember if they did this in Pikmin 2. They do get more attack power? Okay, good. Uh, this one's a bit of a pain, but whatever. Alright. Better make use of these before the timer stops, or starts. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Just go for it. Come 
Come on. Bro, throw it. Ah, oh, it's not busted yet. No, there's one more. Bro! Ah, I can't get him! This is why you need to be able to switch your Pikmin. I couldn't get the last bomb rock into the to throw it. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Oh. Oh well. At least that quality of life feature is apparently in the HD version. No quick switch, so you just have to walk through your crowd and hope that you uh, land on a bomb one. Yeah, I was worried I may have accidentally left a group behind. Thank you for the reset there, Nos. Appreciate it. The Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. They close observation in case of taking food pellets. The onions are the same color and results and release a larger number of Pikmin seeds. I know, but I don't always have time to consider that or care. You can grab one for a moment, press X to dismiss them all. Yeah, that's that's the only way to sort them, instead of just being able to press the D-pad to switch what color you're holding. Okay, 22 parts. I'm still making good pace, so I can just save still. I haven't had to replay any particular days. All right. The bomb rock should respawn. And I want to get a bunch of blue Pikmin so I can get that one that's in the thing. But we have to hope there's no boss spawns in the middle of the paths here. I've been quite lucky. Most of the most of the troublesome monsters have been like out of the way where I can just kind of ignore them. Except for the smoky prog in day two. Okay, I see bull bears and uh, fish things. I need a bunch of blue ones. And I need some yellow ones for the bomb rocks. So let's get them. There's the blue ones over there. I'll go pick them one day. This'll do. I suppose remaining ones can just be red. There's that stone there. All right, since the enemy's all refreshed. Oh, there's the bread bug. Hang on. We need to get him right away. Please don't let there be an enemy nearby. Worry about saving the other ones later. Okay, he's stuck. It's so hard to land Pikmin on top of this thing. Come on. Pikmin can't keep up here. eating that wood again. Ah, almost had him. It's such a pain to get this guy. If you're running at full speed, the leaf Pikmin can't keep up, so you can't throw them. Just pellets? Ah, damn, he doesn't have the part now. Hang on, I better finish this bridge. Get the Pikmin back. Okay, good. Grab the yellow for that one. Now let's get everybody back. Okay, that's the Mamuda. I think that's what it's called. That means a random enemy is gonna be the one that has the ship part inside of it. It's not guaranteed to be the bread bug now. Ugh, I better deal with this thing. Oh, great, he's gonna go over there. Yeah, we got him outnumbered. He's dead. <sighs> I hate this thing so much, it's just wasting time. And now I'm just accidentally picking Pikmin. Alright, we got him. I'm gonna have to kill every enemy that comes along the way. 
Uh, if you don't know what the bread bug usually does... Hang on. Wait, what? Oh, did they go back to leaf form? They did. Great. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Worst timing possible, huh? Here, take this. I have to wait for them to re-sprout. Uh, I may as well take you out. This thing can't even kill Pikmin, I think. It can only just stomp them into the ground. Yeah, I did have two smoky progs in Garden or er, uh, Forest of Hope day two. Come on. Okay. No ship part. Let's pick these up. It was actually really scary because I only had the red onion and he was just like camping the onion and I had to take out a couple Pikmin at a time and just like smack his face. It's a miracle I was able to kill it. He automatically flowers them if he puts them in the ground. That's handy, I guess. Yeah, you guys can take that, I guess. All right, so there's another one of those in the water. Ship part over there. What's in the water, though? Snoring. I w let me see if I can bring the blue ones in there. Please don't let me regret leaving them. Crap. Okay, I got more blue ones over there. That must have been what the, the bug took them. I should probably pick them right quick, because I need them. There's a red one, too. I suppose I should just grab this right quick. Come on, guys. Can't go doing that. Alright, I don't want that one red one to just die there, so let's just get rid of them. I've got 30 blue Pikmin. Is that going to be enough? Oh! It's uh, one of the two emeralds. Problem is, that if there's this guy around. The Libra. If they take it fast enough... They're flower Pikmin. Okay, he doesn't care. Alright, I got my part for the day, so we're still on good pace. Although the final trial, normally, it, um, unless you know exactly what you're doing during the final trial, it basically takes an entire day to set up a path to the boss. Wait, did I also... Nova Blaster was yesterday. May as well take out these guys. Oh, oh, there's fire there! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I was stuck in a, a loop of uh, damage, so I couldn't. Man, that sucks. I couldn't um, call the call the Pikmin to save them. Mamuda just doesn't attack. Okay. Let's just get these out of here. I don't care which one grabs which, honestly. Not a big deal. Alright. Get this blue one to get this. I notice that when an enemy is really close to a fire geyser, if I get hit by one of them, I basically get knocked back and forth for a few seconds before I get control of my character. Jeez, uh, I'm wondering if it's possible for me to just kind of like get stun locked to death when I do that. Take the shortcut, but the Pikmin can't go through that because they gotta carry stuff. Okay. You can't break the fire things with the red red Pikmin, not in this game, no. Like the geysers have an HP bar in two and onward, right? My daughter gave this to me. My late return must have her worried. Nine parts. Sick. We're not even half done the day yet. I should kill these in case they have the bread bug part. I'm not misremembering. There is a bread bug part in this, uh, 
this place, right? Well, here's more carry stuff. Nice. Man, it doesn't feel like it's been like two hours. I'm having a great time with this. This is a lot of fun. Jumping the Pikmin hype bandwagon has honestly been a lot of fun. There we go. Leave that alone. That's a steam geyser. It's not a fire one. I know that with uh, the release of the HD Pikmin, there's been a lot of people playing these games for the first time. Um, I noticed, like, uh, there's, like, a thing going around on social media where people are posting, like, clips, and it's, like, kind of interesting to see people discover this stuff for the first time. And there was a funny meme going around being like, hey, everybody, if you see this giant egg, make sure you break it. It'll, it'll give you, like, a pearl that gives you lots of extra Pikmin. <laughs> and it's like, oh, no. Don't, don't do that. Don't scare a new generation of children with that. Excellent. Okay. I guess I should get started on this gate, but the blowhog is... Oh, yeah, he's gonna be in the wrong spot. What does the egg do? It hatches the smoky prog. In the vanilla game, the smoky prog only shows up in an egg in the distant spring if you get there before day 15, right? It's essentially like a super boss reward if you like if you get to the one of the final areas like quick enough. Oh god, is he gonna blow at the door? Ugh. I hate this thing can blow the flower petals off your Pikmin too, so that sucks. Where are you? There's that stone wall I didn't finish breaking too. Is there any yellow Pikmin here? They should be able to handle this on their own, so let me go see if I can get more... Where is it? Uh... Right, it was over here, actually. Before day 15. Kind of interesting how they set that up. Yeah, you can see the flower Pikmin is vastly outspeeding the, uh, the non-flower Pikmin. It was one bomb rock away from, like, getting destroyed, but does it reset, like, its health counter to, like, three? I hope not. What happened to that one blue that was with me? Did he get stuck? Okay, no, he just, like, got lost. He must have tripped. Or, no, he started carrying that because he got lost. Okay, that's fine. That thing is such a pain in the ass, but whatever. All he can do is blow the Pikmin away, so it's not a big deal. Does that mean there's a randomized thing if I get there in time? Probably. Hang on. I lost a lot of flower petals, but it's whatever. Can we just take him out? He might have a part inside him. One enemy here definitely has a part inside them somewhere. Yellow Pikmin are easier for hitting them. Here, guys. Oh, don't take him near the fire. No! Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Hold up. All right. That helped lower the gate a little bit more. It looks like fire Pikmin aren't getting through there. That is like the worst spot for a blowhog, isn't it? They'll get it broken down eventually, I hope. I might be better to just come back on another day when there'll be a different enemy here. Because with the fire pick the fire guys, or I can't even get anything past there unless I go back for red Pikmin, and there's not enough time. Oh boy. Okay, there's some stragglers back there. I didn't end up getting that part in the water. I ended up just killing a bunch of enemies. Crap. I don't think there's... No, I got the Libra. What am I saying? What am I saying? I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of the vanilla item. Okay, he's following me. If I can lead him back here, maybe we can get some damage done to him. Oh, hang on. I 
I got a part, so good progress. As all, like honestly, if you can get one part per day, that's really good. That's really good progress. Excellent. It's definitely possible to get multiple parts in one day, but you don't gotta you don't gotta worry yourself. Remember, this is a rando, so I have to be I have to account for the possibility of random enemies slowing me down, and they definitely have been like. This, th this dude right here has just been a massive pain in the ass. I can't break that wall properly. Okay. This is just the steam thing? Yeah. You come here. It's not worth it. I'm missing 21. Or sorry, 19. I can't count. Where are they? Okay, the stragglers... I'm not going to be able to get them in time. Sorry, chat. I'm a monster yet again. Oh boy. Let me see if I can go pick those guys down there, though, so I can finally have them with the onion. As long as they're just physically with me. Darn it, only got four of them. Sorry. I'm a monster. Some of them got left behind. In my defense, the forest navel is infamous. Because of all the bridges and stuff, it's so easy for a Pikmin to get caught underneath one when you're going up, and they just, like, they go into, like, uh, default mode or whatever, where they have that pale look with the glow. Dismissed mode, I suppose that's what you should call it. Okay... Sorry, friends. That's nature. Eight days since impact. Puffy Blowhog. This is a large-bodied flying organism, but it's uh, possible its interior is as empty as a blimp. If I can send a large number of Pikmin on it, they may be able to ground it, and then once it's down, it will feel my Sprout's rage. Heck yeah. Okay. So I think what I should do right away is I should take some yellow Pikmin and bomb the rest of those walls without being interrupted by the group. But I have to hope that I don't have uh, bad luck with enemy spawns. And also hope that the boss spawn is something manageable. If, if I see something like Emperor Bullblax in there, I don't want to screw with it. That's not going to be fun. I got over 100 of each Pikmin. Uh, impact site should be easy enough and relaxing when we go to it, but let's keep focusing on here. What about that area that normally has all the fire geysers? That could be a lot of random stuff blocking that path for when I need to get that one. That might be one of the hardest parts to get in a randomizer now that I think about it. Yeah, Smoky Prog can spawn. We saw it in day two. All right, first... Not to mention finding the random part. Actually, no, the radar should be able to tell me that. Why, did I, why didn't I think of that? Okay, we'll take 15 yellow ones. You really shouldn't be afraid to use the map, because this place can look intimidating, but when you really, like, zoom out, it's pretty tiny. So, up there is where the rocks were, and there's a part over there. Is that- Oh, hey, it's a smoky prog! You just had to jinx it, didn't you, chat? Well, let's, uh, get... This day's gonna be rough. Smokey Prog count three. Only one screwed with me in the forest, I hope, but I did see another one in the distance on the other side of the stone wall. I wonder if I could just bomb rocket. Getting Smokey Prog at the impact site would be pretty rough, too. The problem is Smoky Prog is programmed to always know where you are because it's supposed to be like a punishing super boss when you hatch it from the egg, right? So when it spawns in, it just makes a beeline for you like Mr. X in Resident Evil 2. Got the red eyes. He can't get up. Hold up. Hang on a second. What if I... Oh, that did nothing. That did nothing! Oh, that did so little to him. You don't even care. 
It's better if I use it on the on the stone walls. He's stuck. Of course, something popped out. No, 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 no. Don't want them carrying it down there. No smoky cheese. Oops, I threw two. Oops, looks like I needed to. One of them just didn't throw it. Alright, I better see what this is. It looks like it might be BB long legs, because I don't see, like, something sitting here. Nope. Snag it. Okay. Hold up. Might be able to cheese it. If I just give it a few bomb rocks, maybe I can kill it. Is it gonna throw it? Oh, that did nothing. Damn, the bomb rocks aren't doing a lot to bosses in this game. Um... Okay, he's already healed up. It'd be best if I get a bunch of red Pikmin. Hold up. And just take them in and kill it. It looks like the smoky prog is going to be caught on the wall. He might just follow me inside of the... Um, hold up, let's just use one of you's here. Nice. Whoops. No parts in them. Most stone walls have been taken care of, except the one at the uh, uh, light landing site. Man, I can't word today. Here's those bull bears. Yeah, let's take this out, then we'll get some red Pikmin and take out the Snagret. The Snagret's more pretty manageable. Bro. This is why I want the switch, uh, the quick switch so badly. Is it... Okay, yeah, it's two bombs per, per tier of HP. Which means I don't have enough. Darn. Oh well, what can you do? If only I didn't waste uh, one or two of them trying to t uh, damage the bosses. Alright, lads. The other one's finished despawning. Or is it because there's still more in the field over there in the blue part? Yeah, there's still a couple in the blue part. The blue pond, I should say. You can only have 100 Pikmin on the field. Okay. There's another wall over there. What's also interesting is that, I should probably mention this earlier, but in order to make the randomizer work this way, you actually have to, um, <clears throat> when I'm using my, uh, dolphin, so to speak, uh, you need to increase the memory of the game a little bit in order to allow, cause some, uh, allow for some enemy spawns to work, cause otherwise it could cr kind of crash or slow things down. Okay, breadbug is stealing. Just a little bit. But, alright. Get him, boys! We may take a few of you out. We'll just take out a few more. It's squeaking. Alright. The guard satellite. Okay. Doesn't really matter which one it is. Alright, we got a ship part. They'll slowly take it back. Now the question is, do I challenge the prog? Or is he still- he's still stuck. I don't think his pathfinding- Oops. Oh, damn it, I better take you got these guys out. The problem with the smoky prog is that its area of the distant spring is normally, um... Hang on. Bro can't get back to his nest. Hang on. If I take it to the ship like this, I should be able to kill it more easily, too. Um, the distant spring is normally an area that's very flat, so the Smoky Prog's AI doesn't, like... It's not programmed to actually deal with, like, slopes or anything, so it can't make, like... 
it can't path away to, to me. It's just gonna try and move towards me. So it's easy for it to get stuck on a slope like that. Oh boy. Guard satellite. 10 out of 30 parts, not bad. Hey, wait, what? What happened? The thing it was holding just despawned. Jeez, I don't know what's going on here. Let's get this here. Okay. This will flip them hard. Any parts? No, no parts in this one either. So it's just some random enemy that's got it, unless I'm still misremembering and no one's corrected me. Got lots of red Pikmin for this. Hang on. I got more than enough red Pikmin now, so... Get some more blue ones. Okay, yeah, let this go. We reached the halfway point. Of the day, anyway. Yeah. Okay. May just go take the take this out right quick. Now there should be a ship part over here, right? Yeah, there's some in this, like, general area I need the blue Pikmin for, so... This is what I should go for next, since they're nearby, and I got half a day left. Actually, the far one is probably the one that normally has the fire geysers, so... Could be rough. First, let's just get some more Pikmin. It's all over there. Put the red ones away. Okay, this is good. Red Pikmin are great for, like, slaughtering bosses like that. Oops. Well. Not to mention, the whole point of the cannon beetle is that, like, it can, like, overheat or something, and its insides are, like, hot and can only be hit by Red Pikmin? Or is that the Pikmin 2 version that does that? I'm not mashing A button, come on. All right, where's uh, three other Pikmin here? Oh, it's the ones that are still planted, isn't it? Okay, it's fine. Now let's go get whatever this is. I got one part today and I took out a boss. Okay, there it is. Radiation canopy. Oh, there's bomb rocks here too. Jeez, guess they expected me to get that a lot sooner. All right, so yeah, the other one that's over here, that's the cog. Is it in water? Yeah, it's in water. Okay. How do I get to that again? I have to, like, make the bridge? Or no, that's for another part, right? Yeah, that's the part. This one over here, I'm pretty sure this is the one that, in vanilla, there's a chance that when you, your Pikmin carry it down, it can bounce and fall off it let off the cliff into the void. I've never seen it happen, I don't think, but I think this is the one that can happen with that. And if the part is random in a randomizer, that means it could possibly happen here too. Okay, let's see if I can make a path to that and also take out some more bull bears. No, you don't need to do that. Like, I, I only I can use the geyser, so there's no point in letting them do that. Red Pikmin do a little bit more damage, yeah. I think yellow and blue do the same amount of damage. I think in Pikmin 2, white Pikmin have lower attack power because of the whole poison gimmick. You guys take these. Oh, no, you don't. The AI prioritizes that all the time, and it's so annoying. Now it's as good a time as any to get these.
Yeah, one of you can just carry it back. As long as you're at the landing site, you'll be good. There you go, you got it. So, I think that's a stone wall or a regular thing I gotta break down. Alright, here we go. That part can sometimes teleport out of the void, if I recall correctly. Does it, like, if it does fall down, if you just reset the day, does it go back to normal? I got two parts today, that's pretty good. It doesn't look like I'm gonna break anything. Oh, come on. I don't have enough time. Oh, crap. I gotta kill them, because they could possibly have... No, they don't have a part inside them. One of them will somewhere. I might as well just let these things take stuff back. That's a bull bear. Yeah, it's on the other side of this. There's two parts I can get to by breaking this down. Okay. And there's two parts also over here, but I, there's no way I can reach anymore now. I got two parts today, so I, I guess I can't really be too greedy. If only I, could, I broke down these stone walls, I'd be able to get things faster, but I didn't do that. See if you guys can just take this back. I wonder, does the speedrun break down the stone walls, or does it take more time? Because you basically need to spend a day getting all those broken down anyway. Might be better to just leave them. Yeah, let me get a drink here. Mmm. All good. Yes and no, it depends. You're talking about the ship part, right? I thought those were more Pikmin. They were just regular blue flowers on the side. Okay, you know what I can do? I can take some yellow Pikmin to the bomb rocks right quick. And see if I can just blow some of that stuff down. Speedrun breaks things as little as possible. God, yeah, I'd be able to get things up here a little bit faster if I took them that way. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I remember where I had to get, how to get to it. Ugh, can't talk. I still haven't found the enemy with the item inside of it, but really, I'm not using the radar to look for that, so I can't really complain about it. I got the one that was out in the water, and I got one from the uh, boss arena that normally has beady long legs. Yeah, I should be able to make it to the wall. Hang on, did I already pick these up? Oh, they didn't respawn yet! There's not a single one in here? Nope. Did I already do this today? Yeah, when I broke down the boss arena. Duh. Duh. Oh, well. Guys. Guys. Oh, well. I did what I could. Random chance you might have the part. <laughs> Normally, enemies take a couple days to respawn, right? So isn't this randomizer technically make it a little bit harder since they refresh every single day, for sure? Let's pick the Pikmin. I essentially have no choice but to start every day with a bunch of enemies in my path, no matter how small they are. But I've been doing pretty good, because that does give me extra stuff to... Extra fodder for the motherships, or the onions. Okay, I got them all this time. Now the question is, what will be along that path? It didn't seem like there were rough enemies over there today, but tomorrow there could be rough stuff. Froggy, you're not getting us today, buddy. Nine days since impact. Iridescent flint beetle. Oh, that thing. Creature's hypnotic reflective body is quite hard, giving it a good defense against Pikmin. Why then do the Pikmin chase it in such a frenzy? I wonder if it will undergo any change if I hit it directly with Pikmin. 
I guess it drops nectar if you hit it. Make a save. Okay, for the most part there. Let's head back in. You can drop pellets too. Are the food pellets just like that thing's poop? Could it be? I don't know. All right, first, let's get some yellow Pikmin and just finish off these bomb walls. Okay, there's a bull bear in my landing site. Hang on, I think actually just a few more. All right. What is that noise? Bro, why do they just, like, sit there and not kill things? Like, they had that thing and its health bar just stopped. Just stopped, I tell ya. Okay, there's a mushroom in... Pond. Bull bear back there. Let's get this... Is there only three? No, there's more. Good. For some reason, sheer grubs turn invincible when they grab a Pikmin. Really? That's what's happening? So it isn't just all in my head. There's that bread bug again. Its nest is in a different spot now. Didn't mean to fall down that way. That's not good. Where am I at? Isn't there- this is usually where the mushroom is in vanilla. The game just- Uh-oh. Why did music start playing? I is there an Emperor of Bulblax in there? Oh, it's Gulix! That's why. And that tadpole just ate that. Hold up. Is this thing affected by bomb rocks? Why does it have boss music? I remember it having boss music. The blue Pikmin can only hit it. Oh, right. Of course, it's made of water. Kind of. That would make the most sense. Anyways, let's just finish this here. It's the beady long legs music. Oh! That one did have boss music. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Should just get rid of this when we can. Should have enough to take it out. Oh, two more, I think. No, the BD Longleg shows up in the uh, the re the arena where um I fought like the Snagret though. Remember? I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Oh, the game just I think that that was the game despawning Gulix because I'm too far away. It seems to have trouble with that enemy in that spot. It's just a theory though. One decided to not throw it. This will speed this up a little bit. Alright. You guys get started on this, and I'll go get the rest of the crew to help. I'm gonna need lots of blue Pikmin. Last day, yellow Wally Hop was there. Who knows? I might need red Pikmin for, um, dealing with things, too. But I know I'm gonna need a lot of blue. The rest I'll take is red. Come on. 27. Well, I sure hope this is enough. I opened up the fast way for them to take everything into here, though, so this is good. Bro, are you stuck? There you go. Like one just tripped. Yep, it did. 
Why did Pikmin need random tripping? Was that really a thing that needed to be in the game? I'm not even gonna feel bad if they get left behind because of that. Okay, bull bears. I'm kind of scared to throw here, so let's just do this. We outnumber you, you're dead. Please don't let there be a smoky over there. I don't see it. I don't see it. Got nine blues. It'd be faster if I just let all of them take care of this first, right? Let's do it. Nice. Come on. Um, I'm pretty sure larger bull bears do heal. Yeah. I got a little bit of each type here. What is up there, though? Is it a small part? I'm just gonna make sure I leave enough blues at the end so I can take, uh, get the cog out of the water over there. Almost. This bridge is not stable. But I'm standing on it anyway. Because why not? Still not done. Okay. Now I need blue Pikmin. Hit this thing. And then I need yellow Pikmin. Get thrown up there. <sighs> Great. Too many of y'all here. I don't think I have enough yellow Pikmin, do I? Uh, that's not how you should beat whatever. You call that last one. I don't think I have enough yellow ones to do this. Really didn't bring enough, but we'll see. Oh, hang on. It's that. That's usually what it is in vanilla. How much should I need for it? 20. I'll have to come back with a few more yellow Pikmin. Unless I can cheese, a, like, a couple red ones up there or something. No. It's just the same treasure there, yeah. Alright. Before I head back, though... No, I don't want the red ones with me. Stop that. Let me take all the blue ones over here. And hope that there's no powerful enemy gonna get us. Let's get over here. Stop it! Stop it! Mushroom over there. Automatic gear. Oh, this one requires 15. Of course it does. And over here, we just have what? That's how you get the blue Pikmin up over there, I guess, but there's no reason to. Oh, okay, the game was stopping for a second again. Alright. Just let the blue Pikmin carry these along the way. I need to quickly run back and get a few more yellow ones. Luckily, I opened up the quick path with all the stone doors destroyed, so we're good. I'm definitely going to be able to get two parts today again, so I'm making fantastic pace. Let's go. A random Pikmin die? Yeah, I'm pretty sure one did. Nothing I can do about it. I tried my best. Now I don't have enough here. I have to wait for them to get here so I can put stuff away, damn it. Take you out. Great. Now, right next to me. Hearts being carried. Hold up, wait a second. 
Wait, what is that? The enemy that has it is there. Okay, that's what that is. Uh, but I can't... I, I need to see what it is. Is it the bread bug? It is the bread bug, damn it. Only took it out so many how many times? Hold up, these guys got stuck. Heck, if I'm, if I'm fast enough, I can get three. Where you going? Where you going, bro? Where you going? You can make it go for... Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no! Come back! Ah, oh, crap. The game cannot handle this right now. What's going on? It's trying to, like, spawn in, like, certain enemies that are just not supposed to be here, and it's just having a rough time figuring it out. I have to take that thing out now. If I'm fast enough, I can get three parts. I killed the bread bug multiple times. I guess I, I was just getting a random one, not the bread bug. Twelve parts. Okay, I can go to the distant spring, too. Nice. Okay. Hang on, I did a decent chunk of health. Is it trying to take that? Guys, come on. Hang on. They're gonna carry it to the ship this way anyway. No, it's gonna go for this. This is even better. I can take it right- we can take it right to the ship. This is perfect. I just gotta hurry and get the yellow Pikmin for, um, the other thing as well. I have enough time. I can do it. Either way, I can get the yellow one close, I hope. The game is lagging right now. I cannot handle these random enemies. Maybe if I take some of the corpses away, too, it'll help. Is that tadpole trying to eat things? Okay, let me put these Pikmin away. Take out a bunch more yellows, because they're going to need to help carry. Oh, they're not put away yet. Nice. The Omega Stabilizer. All right, now let's quickly get this to, all this to the ship. It takes 30. Of course it does. If I can hurry, I can get the other gem. You did it! Omega Stabilizer. With this, I should be able to fly again, even if I don't recover all 30 parts. Okay, so it's it's a mandatory part. Nice. Just pick these. Alright, let's go. Only a small chunk of the day left. Come on, lads. At the very least, we can get it, like, far along. And easily pick it up tomorrow. All the walls have been taken down, so even if it does, like, reset all the way back, <clears throat> it, does not, it doesn't matter. Very good. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to get it back to the ship. Yeah, that happens, and sometimes it can just fall. Don't go into the water, please. You idiots! The two up there won't go- won't, won't help. Sagittarius. Everybody help! We already got several parts today, so this is fantastic. Uh, did I get more than that? 
No, I got the cog and the thing from the bread bug, and this is the third one, technically. Either way, two in one day is still good progress for the average player, I'd say. You're not gonna make it. How many... Oh, it's just this and one other part. That's where, um... The Gulex thing showed up. I just gotta do one more... Yeah, I have to spend one more day here anyway, don't I? I may as well just finish this place off. Either way, we're getting this part real close. Not like the stone walls can come back. I'm missing some Pikmin somewhere, though. What are they? Why are they taking this way? Can't open my map anymore. I don't know where they are. We lost some Pikmin today. Darn shame. Darn shame indeed. Send him out. How many? It was just about eight, right? Or no, were they still in the ground? Oh, they were. I didn't leave anyone behind. That's good. Ten days since impact. I managed to increase the range of the dolphin, looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky. I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. Yeah, look at that. 17 parts remaining with 20 days left. I'm making good progress. I had some... Some unlucky... Uh, enemy spawns in the beginning. But so far, this is good. This is just fine. Now, Distant Spring... Yeah, it has the most parts. Distant Spring can be a little bit rough. Alright, I'm back. Now, before I take a break for the day of Pikmin and Switch games, I mean, um, I kind of want to finish off this location because it's just almost done. I can save the Distant Spring for next time. We'll have to see how long Pikmin is. I think I might try and finish this run tomorrow. I was gonna do Digimon and something else, and may this may as well be something else. Okay. And where's the part at? Wait, what? Oh! It's, it's over there. Great. All right. Let's just get the red Pikmin and go for it. Red Pikmin can also just deal with whatever the boss enemy spawns is. Unless it's Gulix. I better take ha I better go half and half with red and blues, but shouldn't I? Yeah, I better do that. Okay. Depending on how long the total run is, this might be edited as one long VOD, because usually stuff like this does better when it's one long thing. But if it goes like for like six hours total or something. Probably a little too long to get done is one thing. Gotta break this down. Alright. Don't gotta worry about you guys. There's the bread bug. Is the bread bug gonna go for the part? It's over there. Let's get that first. Guys, don't... don't... I got the whole day just to get two parts, so I'm good. I'm gonna have to spend an entire day at the impact site anyway. Distant Spring has a lot of parts, but I've got a lot of excess Pikmin, so even if I get screwed over by bad enemy RNG, I, I pretty much have enough bodies to just kind of throw at, at it to win. Okay. This area also keeps having, like, a hiccup with, like, lag. Don't need to worry about the bread bug anymore. Did it just go underground? Wait. Wait. Is its nest supposed to be here? Because the game not randomized that? Does it just assign a random spawn as its nest if it gets a random spawn? Or replaces something random? I don't know. Oh, crap. There's a bull bear in here. Okay.
We're about to get half the parts today anyway. And because I already have all the Pikmin, the next time I play this, I, it, it's pre pretty much just a beeline for the remaining parts. Okay. Okay, I got 98 out of 98. Two of them died along the way, but that's okay. Pretty much for the rest of this day, I should just go get that one part and also just grow as many extra Pikmin as I can to make things easier for myself next time. What are you hitting? Oh, they're hitting the geyser. Uh-oh. I'm worried the game is just gonna crash. All these random bull bears just in my face. Okay, it's around the corner. Better take out the enemies in the way. What happens if you reach 9,000? Oh, okay, let's leave that alone. 9,999 Pikmin. The counter. Okay, there's boss music. Something will spawn here. But where? Dismiss the Pikmin, see what shows up. Yeah, it's... Oh, no! The red ones are too close. Come on. In my way. So it's only going to be you. Oh, and you're over here. That's cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think it just crashed. I still have all my... Yeah. So if I do this right, I can probably avoid the crash. Has anyone seen a crash happen before? Yeah, there's a stretch. Hang on. I'm gonna take a hundred blue Pikmin and just go for the, um, the Gulix right away. Yeah, I gotta do a quick stretch. There we go. I'm gonna have to speedrun this. I don't know what that issue was. It might have been, like, um, the ca when the cannon beetle showed up, maybe it was too close to that. Hang on, was that bull bear there last time? It might be a new set of enemies. Let's test it. If I have to reset again, I have to reset again, but... Devs are watching. Bug fix. Okay, let's just... Yeah, let's get him. Just take it to the ship. It's right there, I guess. The game probably couldn't handle two enemies close together like that. Now, the ship part, yeah, the gem is there again, but I should just go right for the boss, because that's going to be the problem area. The bugs are munching on that, but it will, yeah, that Wally, uh, Wally Hop wasn't there. Oh, yeah, it's a different enemy now. Okay. I think, yeah, the enemies re being refreshed every single time is also a good thing for the sake of... Crap, it's hopping over here. There we go. It can prevent crashes in case stuff like that happens again. I killed it, though. Look at that, we did it. And... Analog computer. Alright, this is just good. This is even better. Except for the fire. That's a problem. Guys, it's okay. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just... Oh, uh, yeah, they're not fine. Guys, don't go near that. Don't, don't go near that. Yeah, whatever. We should be okay. We solved the problem. Because I'm the one playing, I automatically expect the game to uh, bug out at some point. Alright, there we go. We may as well take the extra bodies back to make up for the- is that a- is that a hop? Yeah, it is. Great. There's a bread bug. Uh-oh. Yeah, this area- this has been the only area that's have- had, uh, like, lag problems, right? Grab as much as we can. And then we'll get the other Pikmin to get the other thing. There was no boss music this time. I wonder if that also had something to do with it. Uh-oh. Crap. 
just leave it alone. This enemy can't really do much to us here. We're good. Hang on, I got 19, so I should be able to get the... Use these guys to get the, the gem. We have the entire... Di oh, God, of course I don't have enough. You come here. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? You get your ass over here. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We got it. 14 out of 30 parts. Bro, you are gonna pay for that. Let's just take him. Pretty much our only goal now is to just get as much Pikmin seeds planted as we can. Oh, yeah, take them. There's something over there taking damage. What is that? Do I have a Pikmin over there? Doesn't look like it. There we go. Oh, they stopped to get the nectar? Of course they did. Of course you goovers did that. Alright. Blue Pikmin are especially important in the Distant Springs, since as the name implies... Oh, cool, they're stuck. Cool, they're stuck. As the name implies, that place is filled with water. I think there's like a couple ship parts that really require... I can't get this. Are you serious? <sighs> Whatever. Just go get this already. I am begging you all to stop doing that automatically. It'll take the long way, apparently. Now then, there's nothing else here to really worry about. May as well kill you. Uh-oh. Even more of a reason to kill you if you're gonna cause problems with the game. Okay, good. I was worried. Ooh, you ain't gonna make it, boy. Yeah, that's right. You walk out of here. You know you ain't winning this tug of war. Now, is there a quick way for me to check my Pikmin? Onions? Okay. Red has way more than everyone else. Blue ones are most important, though. You don't... It's okay to have uh, the least amount being yellows. Let's get these now. I was a little bit worried, but luckily... It's a good thing the crashing issues weren't happening, like, earlier in the stage. But it does seem like this is the most unstable level to have, uh, random enemies for, I guess? Like, Gulix was fine, but as soon as that cannon beetle just kind of showed up, the game just, like, could not handle it anymore. Alright, there we go. And that's half the amount of parts, right? Gift for my son, he must be worried about me. Yep. 14 more to unlock the final trial. It's unstable in the regular game. Did it, does this level lag a little bit in the in the real game? I can't remember. I, I want to say it does, but I might be misremembering. Yes? Okay. I'll take your word for it if you play it more than me. Uh-oh. <sighs> Getting nervous. We can replenish those Pikmin. We can get more. There's no more parts to get, so we're spending the rest of the day just making sure. 
we get as many Pikmin as we need. Okay, that's all we needed there. What is that over there? Okay, it's the Fiery Blowhog. Luckily, those have not been in the way. Um, There's a handful of remaining parts in the forest to hope. You don't have to worry about that. I have to spend a day at the impact site no matter what. That will be another opportunity to just kind of farm extra Pikmin because there's only the one part. Currently, the Onion has a lot more blue ones now. I feel like I have enough yellow ones for the rest of the game. If I need any extra, I could just get them from the impact site visit next time. Oh, please stop doing that. You're making me nervous. Randomizer is scaring me now. I already got all the Pikmin we need. At least we'll just go grab more blue ones from around here if we can. Please stop that. This area is, like, maybe not the best idea, but I need more Pikmin. That thing's running back and forth. We can just go check out in the water still. A yellow flower? Wait, those can also be random? Also, what is this, a water bottle? I don't remember that. Here's the nest. This is the worst place to spawn a yellow flower, because it'll die as soon as it's like, crapped out. So you tell me this whole time the flowers could be random, randomly, like, replace an enemy or something. Wait, does that mean I could have gotten early, like, blue or yellow Pikmin if, a, if um, the flowers spawned at the impact site or Forest of Hope? That's sick. But I just didn't see one until now. Man, talk about unlucky. Get that there. There's no enemies over here this time. I'm not finding anything else. Looks like all the enemies I took care of. Except over there. That's the problem spot, though, so I should stay away from there now. Suppose I may as well get some flower Pikmin if they're gonna waste time on this grass anyway. The day's almost done. There's no more. Maybe these got bumped out of the way enough. Looks like I can make it slide. <laughs> A little bit. Can I dislodge it? There's nothing else to really do. We can slide a little bit. Oh, that's the bread bug. Hold up. This'll probably move it for me. Ah, oh, don't! Okay. I was really worried him grabbing that pellet was going to crash it again. If we could just get to the end of this day, we don't have to worry about this place just destroying the game anymore. Let's go. Yeah, let's go Pikmin, come on. Take this guy out for another chunk of blue ones. gonna land one shot. Alright, just pick up a bunch of these. Did Dylan ever have a crash when he was doing it? Uh, playing this, if you guys saw it? I don't remember him mentioning anything about it. Over 703 Pikmin. Over here, there's just nothing. Try and get the nectar, I suppose. Just give ourselves a bit more flower Pikmin. Alright. I 
thought my ship was like a big super enemy over there for a second. I was worried. All right, I got a hundred out of a hundred. Get over here, bros. The day is gonna be over in just a moment. I got half the parts, and yeah, I I have almost two hundred blue Pikmin. And I've got the red Pikmin to just kind of defeat enemies quickly if need be. That should probably be my approach when I do the Distant Spring next time, is just send in the... Um, take out all the red Pikmin and just slaughter as many enemies as I can. And then let the blue Pikmin just kind of go for stuff. I'm past the point of one part per day, so I definitely have enough time, even if I can set aside an extra free day for the final trial. And at that point, for the final trial, you can, it's pretty easy to just reset if you make a big mistake. Although, the final trial could be tricky if there's, like, weird enemy types spawned in, like, the middle of that all that stuff. Well, that's that. There's nothing else to get. We made it. Two parts from today, and that's only because the emerald was, like, really close to the, the ship anyway. I just couldn't reach it in time. It's apparently a good thing that I picked the most unstable part to get last, because I did not realize that that area was so bad for the randomizer to handle. Feels like every time I approach it now, it just kind of lags a little bit. Come on. One. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. So I will finish this up tomorrow. Depending on how long it takes, we'll determine whether or not this gets uploaded as one giant VOD or two long, like, three-hour parts. Because if I'm fast and the RNG is favorable, it could be, a, could be a quick breeze, but... Could have an enemy slow me down or an enemy just crash the thing again. And I have to retry it a long day. That would really suck, yeah. There goes a little hoppy friend. Eleven days since impact, hope has begun to dwell up within me. Uh, for the dolphins repairing my own chances for a reunion with my dear family, tomorrow I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. So I got every single part in this area. That's good. Fifteen parts remaining with nineteen days remaining. That's pretty good. Okay, and we are good. We're ready to give this a try. We've got 15 more parts we need to get, so we're gonna head over to the Distant Spring and do it. Use the blue Pikmin and just quickly scoop up whatever we can grab. And hope that we don't have any certain enemies just making a beeline for us, because this whole area... I guess maybe the wall can block some of them there, but we'll see. Just get all the blue Pikmin and go for it. They need to make a bridge as well. This is what I spent all that time growing blue Pikmin for last time. Alright. Yeah, first we'll get some of them on the bridge, and then we'll get some of them to try and carry this thing down. I almost swear that you need... Oh, a fire geyser right there. That's not good. It's gonna make it hard to just... They're going to get hit by that if they're not careful. How much do I got with me? 39. Yeah, this should be enough. There's a red flower there. Ignore the bread bug. I don't see any smokies. Okay. Now this part's annoying. Pretty sure I don't use the yellow Pikmin like I thought, so I need to just like... Hang on, let me zoom in a little more. Okay. Oops. Lead them along the wall like this. Yeah, the enemies are just random every day. There's not like a new seed that the Fosse file has. Okay. 18 more of them. Just do this. The yellow Pikmin take it down, they just fall into the water. 
which is weird because again i could almost swear from my childhood that like you can only get this one with a yellow pikmin but clearly that's not the not the case let me just take them all get there faster so while they're working on the bridge we can do this Designer probably knew that you would try to use yellow Pikmin and it's to punish you. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Anyways. Someone mentioned it earlier, and I'll just kind of say it again for the YouTube recording. But, um, I do want to play Pikmin 4. But I don't know if I'll both play it at launch. Let me see. Because I've wanted, been wanting to replay Pikmin 2 and 3 on stream for a long time, and... I don't want to rush that, because Pikmin 4 is right around the corner at the time of, like, this stream, so... Nope. Ah, one fell down. Okay, whatever. Okay, nice. This is good. One ship part down. Um, Breadbug Nest replaces whatever enemies over there. Got 56 of these. There's a M Mamuda, I believe it is. Hang on. What is that? A breadbug nest, or a breadbug nest, replaced the um, uh, smoky prog egg. Rather, the nest and the bug probably go hand in hand. If a breadbug spawns, it has to probably have a nest in order to like be able to take anything back. If there is a Pikmin two randomizer as well, I think I'd love to try that. But that would definitely be a much longer playthrough than one. All right. Second ship part for the day coming. Oh, uh, let's get the hell away from you. Hang on. Are those bomb rocks? Okay, I need to take some yellow Pikmin over here so I can... Uh-oh. I didn't think about this. Hold up. Hey, get it now. Sh crap, the flower's blocking. Ah! You're in water! You're fine! You're fine! You're in water! Dude, you're in water! You're in water! So are you. Chat, they were in water. I did all I could, okay? Pikmin 2 has a lot more better modding tools than 1, so it almost certainly has a rando. Okay. Definitely it would be cool to try it out for sure. Okay, there's a bull bear. Now, let's go take care of the last one that's in the middle of the water, and then I'll get the yellow Pikmin to get the bomb rocks. Massage machine... Those two Pikmin that died to the fire died so I could have, like, a massage machine. You think they'd be happy knowing that? I think they're resting up in heaven right now, being like, I'm glad I died for this cause. Olimar is kind of a monster when you think about it. But hey, he's just trying to survive. That's the natural order of things. Right? Where is it? Okay, I think it's gonna be inside an enemy. Hold up, kids, you don't need that. Come on. Is it that thing? No. It's underground, isn't it? Yep, here it is. This thing over here isn't helping. Where are you coming? Idiots are grabbing the pellets. Stop trying to grab the body. Okay, that one got him. Come on. How much is that red health gonna last on you, bro? Alright, well, if Pikmin 2 has a, bit, has a big modding scene, I definitely would be interested to play some more of those. Again, I know of at least two of them that Dylan's played. He's currently play, ongoing playing the second one. But I'm sure that'd be fun. I can give him a try when we get to him. I mean, I'm getting to Pikmin mods right now, technically, by playing this. This has certainly been a lot of fun, like... Last time I did this, we went for over three hours, and those three hours just absolutely, like, flew by. Hang on, there's some lone ones over here. Okay, they're moving that. They're taking the random pellets. There's Mamuda. I think that was its name. 
So I'm about to get three ship parts, and we're about to hit the halfway point of the day. Uh-oh. What are you doing? No, no, the ship's over here. Good. Redbug doesn't have anything inside it, right? Okay, good. It's, it's, it's pissing off. It knows what's what. It knows what's what. Pikmin 2 has a Kaizo called Land of Torture that Dylan said he might play someday. There's Kaizo Pikmin. Man. That sounds like it might be interesting. Good clickbait thumbnail there. Okay. Hang on. Take about 16 of them out. All right. Now I'm just gonna quickly head back to over here so I can get the bomb rocks. Gotta watch out for the fire geyser though, that's a pain in the ass. We need these bomb rocks to take care of that stone wall. I don't think this is gonna be enough rocks though for that. I thought there'd be a bit more. Oh, there is, they're under the skulls. Uh oh, right, I forgot you were there. Looks like I got them all, so let's get out. Dude! No! Okay, that wasn't my fault. I tried. I warned Timmy, and he decided to, like, be a fool. What's next? Kaizo Story of Seasons? I would 100% play a Kaizo mod for Friends of Mineral Town. Unironically, I would play the- oh, there's a smoky egg, okay. That sounds like that could be some real wild crap. How would that work? I don't know, and that's why it interests me. Uh-oh, is this enough? That's exactly enough. Perfect. All right, let's put the yellow ones away. Mostly carrying blue ones with me for the distant spring is good. I imagine you couldn't do much with it without it becoming quickly annoying though, yeah. All right, smash this and pick them all up. So this is a good start. Three parts in one day and I still have a little less than half a day left. This is, well, that's just a fun thing. I like, I I've said it before, but mods and randomizers are like a really like neat idea simply because they just make it, um, they give you just another way to replay your favorite games over and over. Is there like nectar around here I can get? Okay. Grab some of that. Oh, cool. I can't believe I got him. Yeah, got you, bro. Take it to the mothership. And the rest of you, I don't know if I'll need this, but there's a red flower up there. I have no idea if this will do anything for you, but whatever. Just in case I need to lead them around, but I already broke the stone wall, so does it matter too much? Excellent. But no, if people really like this playthrough, I I'd be definitely would be down to do some more Pikmin content. Again, I will play floor four at some point, but I'm not in a big rush to play it at launch. Go here. I thought that was a blue Pikmin over there for a second. Okay, let's ignore you. I got 58 of these bad boys, and looks like there's a part over here. It's in the mushroom, isn't it? All right, got the bug. Maybe I should try and take him out. Do I got enough blues for this? Blue Pikmin aren't optimal, but let's go for it. I 
can just get the part outside of them. Okay, some of them got it. I can't remember what gets them out of this other than battling with your own Pikmin and just whistling. Or did they die? Oh, they died. They're following him. Killing him would also end it, too. Nice. Oh, it's the engine! <laughs> the one I get from the tutorial. I hope picking this up doesn't, like, break the game in some way. Nice. It makes more it makes a lot more sense that oh god, I didn't realize I had to break stuff for this. Okay. That's okay. We can get it tomorrow for sure easily. It makes more sense that Pikmin 2 has more modding tools, because there's a lot more tools to like work with. It's why like there is more modding tools for Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky than Blue Rescue Team. Because, like, you know, all this it uses all the sprites from the first games anyway, so it makes more sense to just use a lot of the content in that. How's the dolphin fly without it? Well, the dolphin just checks that you get one space part. It doesn't actually need the engine. Well, Sky is also like the complete version of Time and Darkness, so it makes no sense to make modding tools compatible with Time and Darkness anyway. We can get started on breaking down this fence while the countdown happens. As long as the Pikmin are with me, we're fine. There's one with me? Where? Is there one lost somewhere? Oh, geez, there's a few lost somewhere, apparently. Hold up. They're trying to follow me. They're over there? I don't think I'm gonna reach them in time. They got blew blown away. That's why he got lost. Ah, oh, damn it. Not gonna reach them in time. There's a guy speeding down, though. Hold up. It's not They're not gonna make it. Because I gotta be able to regroup with these ones, too. There we go. I've really been putting off playing, like, uh, Mystery Dungeon Sky hacks as well. Here we go. Sky is such a good game, and, like, I'm slowly, like, doing 100% of it on stream. But, like, there's... People have imported, like, portraits and made custom sprites for later Pokemon as well. I'm told that, like, some of, like, the custom hacks for it are just really good. People would definitely enjoy seeing me play that. I mean, Purity Forest is probably some of, like, the most popular, like, stream I do. Like, people love seeing that live. But I gotta take, like, breaks from it sometimes, because, like, it's really stressful when you just have a streak of, um... Ooh, not the grubs. Just have a streak of constant losses. So I got three parts, and I was well into getting the fourth one. It's pretty good. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to recover virtually all my missing ship parts. But not quite all of them. Unfortunately, there still seem to be some pieces that remain unaccounted for. Twelve more parts to increase the dolphin's range. There's pro at this rate, there's probably a necessary part inside of um, the Emperor Ball Blacks at the end. Hopefully, though, it get ran it gets randomized to an easy fight. I hate fighting that thing. Basically, I have to cheese it. Wait, what? Wait, two. One of them did one of them not make it? I could have sworn I got three. That means one of them on along the way had to have gotten stuck somewhere and the Pikmin died. I thought I put them back into the onion. They must have died. Oh, boy. How did I not realize that? Let's check the map and see where it is, because it should be in the spot. Maybe there was an enemy that came out of no... I, I see it right over there. I see it. It's the radio. Oh, my God. You know why it's there? You know why it's there. That's where the bull bears were. Hold up. That's where the bull bears respond. Oh, they bumped into them. That's unfortunate.
Red Rescue Team has 32 megabytes, and about 18 megabytes of that is just graphics, so they had to do several things to save space, but that also makes it much harder to mod. I guess that makes sense. There we go. Well, I technically... Whatever, I got it. It was right next to the ship. We were almost there. It counts. I didn't even realize this didn't make it to the ship yesterday. Well, we re-rolled new enemies. Still fantastic part, or sorry, progress. Uh-oh, go away, go away. Fantastic progress for the first day in the spring. Okay, this guy has got to go. Since fire geysers can be randomized, I might not even need to get, um... Might not even need to get those out. What happened to the other four? Okay, they got knocked over here. All right, let's go back to get the engine. We're still making great pace. I pretty much took care of everything behind me. There's a bull bear. I'm gonna have to get rid of the Wally Hop and the bull bear. They're in the way. With this many Pikmin, they go away quickly. There's a blue Pikmin flower. Okay, there's enemies over there. Don't need to go in that side of that anymore. Okay, there's a smoky egg. Okay, here it is. At least some of them are becoming extra flowers. This bug right here is, uh... Not that. Come here, guys. Ugh. The bug distracts them, and it's very annoying. So I need to break down this wall. Take this. Hmm. All right. Will they bump into the bull bear? Hopefully, probably not. Now around here, this is the part. There's all those over there. Hang on. It looks like there's one tucked away near the start that I can just go quickly get with the blue Pikmin. You need blue Pikmin for a lot of crap in Distant Spring. It definitely feels like the blue Pikmin are, like, the most useful overall. Because water is such a big deal. That's probably why they came up with the cave system for, like, two in the first place. To make sure all Pikmin have a chance to sort of, like, do something in some environments. Okay, their pathing takes him through there. I suppose we may as well grab these since we're going back to ship anyway. Okay. Yeah, it is interesting how just some games lately have just gotten, gotten more modding tools because people have figured things out. I'm still blown away with, like, the Castlevania DS randomizer, where it literally can rearrange every room in the game to make, like, a completely random castle map, and it's, like, it blows my mind every time I play it. Okay, two parts right there. Fiery Blowhog's a little in the way. I'm gonna get that message every time. I don't know, it might be a byproduct of the randomizer. Okay. 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 Uh, starter Pokemon and Red and Blue Rescue Team have 30 to 40 possible animations in the story. Everything that isn't involved in the story has 10 to 15 animations. If you swap your starter or partner, it'll try to play animations that don't exist in cutscenes, which causes the game to crash. I remember you talking about, like, uh, how starters could crash the game like that. That's interesting to know why. It makes a lot of sense. Thanks for getting the sub, yo-yo. I remember you saying, Miner, that you were, like, the one that, like, was, uh, involved with a lot of, like, modding for that game. Were, were you more also involved at, with Sky a lot, or was that just, like, a, a different team? No, you were also part of the team that translate- helped translate and release the, uh, the WiiWare games, though. I remember that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of these. Kill it.
Okay, got it. Okay, let's work on getting rid of this now. Oh, they're already done? That's like barely a bridge over there. Okay. Let's get them all. We made this bridge. What's annoying is they're gonna try and pick shit up. There we go. All of them gotta do this bridge. Well, picked up two parts today. If I can get this one back, it's gonna be another big win. Man, I'm really able to sweep this place. Luckily, the enemy, ha the enemies haven't been too bad. Hmm. Teamwork makes dream work. You what? You think DreamWorks has that like on a motivational post poster at their studio, and it just has a picture of Shrek giving a thumbs up? That'd be funny. Made the tool that allowed the translator to decompress and extract files from Adventure Squad. Also helped reverse engineer Sky for the creation of its tool. A tool exists for Red Rescue Team, but I wasn't involved. Okay, well, thank you for your contributions. Maybe I should get around to streaming them about more. <laughs> Alright, it's fine, though. Like I said, I had a lot going on these past few months, and I've been having a pretty great week. Looking forward to starting a lot more things. Starting this randomizer was a lot of fun. Like, uh, Wednesday's stream was so much fun. We did, like, three hours of this, and then I played the entirety of the Crooked Man in one go. Probably one of the most fun streams I had in a while, because I had just finished editing a big video, and the next one is already, like, well into editing, too. Okay, let's take it. It has been a fun week, we can say that much for sure. Yeah, I like playing Kirby, too. That was a fun little distraction. All right, let's leave the Mushroom Boy alone. Um, I hope they don't bump into the Blowhog, but whatever. Let's run back over here. There's nothing planted. All I can do is wait now. All right, good. The, the hog is being ignored. Oh, boy. I got Kaizo recorded before this, so we kind of have free reign to play whatever we want. As long as we got those Kaizo numbers for the week, huh? Shock Absorber. 20 out of 30 parts. Maybe I can do this quickly. I'd like to be optimistic. All right. How many parts are left here? Quite a bit. This is... I think this is the one I actually need the Yellow Pikmin for. Might be wrong about that. Those ones at the back might take a little bit of effort. Same with the Forest of Hope ones. Let's put some of these back. And the rest, let me get Yellow Pikmin, because I think that's the one I was thinking of. Hope there's no water that way. 44 enough. Usually 40 is like the absolute maximum for picking stuff up. Was there a bull there? Yeah, there is, but he shouldn't be in the way. Okay, yeah, it's not quite... It's a small part, too, so as long as I just, like, throw a bunch of Pikmin up there and dismiss them, I can go up there myself and get it. Can I not just... Oh, hold up. I shifted the camera poorly there. Did I misunderstand the slope here or not? No, I definitely can't... No, I can't go up that. Uh-oh. Yeah, the yellow Pikmin do make this easier, don't they? Alright, no problem. I thought that I could walk up that slope. If I just put the yellow Pikmin there, this will be a piece of cake. I hope. Can the yellow Pikmin reach this? I don't think so. Maybe up the slope. I throw them just right. Either way, already good progress has been made, so we'll be fine. 
Doesn't seem like there's a smoky running around. There's a smoky egg, but... I'm trying to jeez. I don't like the ultra zoomed in one. Or do I have to, like, get this uh, stick to reach it? The geyser for that. I think maybe it's the stick. Yes, yeah, the stick to get up there. Or is it the stick to get out? It's like the stick to get out. Now how the hell do I get all the way up there? I don't think I can reach it. Um, how do I get up there again? I can't remember. Um, it doesn't look like there's a way to path them in there from behind. Is there a way for me to climb up? Oh, cool, they showed up. I don't see another slope to get up in. Oh my god, get them. Kill it. I genuinely don't see a way up there. Am I missing something? I can't go up that slope over there. Am I supposed to walk all the way over like that? The stick doesn't seem to do anything except make you fall out. I am very confused right now. Like, what am I, what am I missing here? Am I supposed to carry a small group of yellow Pikmin at a time over here and throw them up like this? I think I am. That seems to be the only way to do it. But I don't remember this being like this, like, at all. Dude, I can't see my own Pikmin. This place kind of sucks. No, stop trying to carry him, you idiot. You're never getting out of there. You're getting stuck. Alright. Seems like I just gotta throw the yellow Pikmin on that ledge and then go around and get them. Pain in the ass, but whatever. Doesn't seem like I need that much of them, at least. It's a small part. That should be more than enough. Alright, let me go do this right quick. We're about to run out, but if I can at least get it to carry it down, still good progress. Like, I did get most of the ship parts from here in, like, two days, didn't I? Yeah, I only need ten. Got good RNG for this thing. Usually, I think this is, like, a little wind-up tool that requires a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get it there. Perfect. Alright. Took me a little bit to figure out the puzzle, but that's neat. that's not bad. UV lamp. This is, this is another optional one, too, I think. Hang on, is that a smoky egg? It is a smoky egg. I'm getting lucky. I'm getting eggs instead of the actual hatch smoky. The stick is just there to get you out of the hole, I guess. The geyser's there to get Olimar out. I'm missing nine parts now. Uh, I'm missing three Pikmin. Where'd they go? They're not over there. Over th Why? Are Why is one over there? Why? Oh, you fool. You fool! I'm not gonna make it! I'm coming for you, Brian. You darn fool. What? They're stuck in a loop? Wait, wait, 
Wait, I was so far away from these guys that they actually couldn't carry this thing and they despawned? Is that what happened? Because they were suddenly carrying it when I went that way. That's the only explanation I have. Maybe there's just so many enemies that the game, like, despawned them. Because <laughs> I didn't think that could happen in this game unless the enemies were very carefully designed around that spawning situation. I saved the triplets, we're good. Very strange. The scenery of this planet, which I once found hostile, now strikes me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking that there were some parts I do not need. A daydream. Kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like the enemies don't exist when you're not looking at them type of thing. That kind of creates a problem for Pikmin, though, when you're trying to micromanage things, but... The randomizer obviously puts more enemies on the map than intended. Okay, four parts left. It might be a bit of a stretch to get them all in one day, but let's go for it. I got the one that required yellow Pikmin, and I broke the the bomb walls, so I think I'm fine to just take out like a hundred blue ones and run for it. This is pretty fun. Again, if the randomizer is also compatible with challenge mode, I wouldn't mind trying to do like a one-off stream of that for the hell of it. Again, there's no way you can consider the scores for that competitive in any way, but why not? It's in more of an excuse to mess with it. Okay. Because I always liked the Pikmin 1 challenge mode. Played it a ton as a kid. Alright, Breadbug is in the way here, so we should easily be able to deal with him. He's not going to be able to outpower or outgrab these pellets. Okay, Fire Guys are in the water. Uh... Bull Bear is on that platform. We can leave it the hell alone. Another Wally Hawk, or a yellow Wally Hawk. Does it have the part? No, the part is up there. Play float. No. How many died? Okay, I lost 20 of them. Uh, they were kind of just like shaking off and just sitting there. Oh, this I need yellow Pikmin for this, don't I? Hold up, but there's no bridge. Do I have to carry them like that? Hold up. Can't get on that. Get on the sides like that though, right? Wait a second. Isn't there normally like a flower or something over here? Or do I got to carry them across? What? I need the yellow Pikmin to get it down, and then the blue Pikmin to... I think I remember this now. Alright. That's a bit of an annoyance, but we'll have to worry about that later then. Is that the same deal here? This must be where all my memories of needing yellow Pikmin are coming from. Is there a way for me to get that down now? Or am I supposed to do what? Can't throw them high enough for that. Wait, I think there's supposed to be like flowers or something for this, right? But if there's no flowers here, because the randomizer, that would lock me out of them, but they can't be necessary. Either way, we can get some parts, don't worry. This might take a little bit of extra work. Like that part in the corner, I might leave for last with how it's going. That's okay. Nice. This is enough. Excuse me? Why did those ones just suddenly not make the, the trip across? I'm trying to help, but they can't. Whatever. Couldn't throw crap. Alright, that's one part dealt with. Assuming it get back, gets back safely. I can't go this way. It's a dead end. Okay. Is 46 enough to just go over and deal with this one? Let's find out. There's a wall I gotta break. Damn. It looks like a tiny one. 
Of course. Hang on. Well, they're gone. And so are you. These guys are gonna mess up the gate. Oh, they're just gonna slow me down. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna need to break these walls. Come out, come out, fellas. Only blue Pikmin can break this wall. It seems like the uh, seagull can just barely not make it here, so this is going to take a bit more effort than I thought. I should head back to the landing site, and oh, of course there's a stone wall there. I better get more yellow Pikmins to break it. Doesn't look like I can get everything in one day. There's bomb rocks there. I can break that wall easily. Okay, good. They made it. I was worried about them. Oh boy. Little known fact, idle blue Pikmin will throw drowning Pikmin the shore. Really? I didn't know about that. It's you saying it, my nerd. I trust you. Anyone else? I probably think they're trying to prank me. Or maybe you are. Go on. Destroy my trust issues, I dare you. Alright. Let's get ten of these guys. And... Red Pikmin. I think Red Pikmin also break walls faster, if I'm not mistaken. Don't play Pikmin, but I remember hearing that. Okay, so maybe it's true. Mamuda doesn't attack unless you attack it. But first, let's deal with the stone walls. Gentle giant. All right, and I got one more. Huh? But I heard the clearing noise. Oh, they finished the gate over there. That's why. I don't have enough rocks for this. Damn it. Am I gonna have to go all the way across the bridge? Apparently I am. Oh, of course you're there! It's fantastic. Well, you're dead now, Timmy. There's a smoky egg. What a pain in the butt this is. F for Timmy, yeah. And they broke the bridge. Cut that out! Oh, they're not getting in. No! What? <sighs> it was just a yellow wally hop. They're stuck. They're stuck. Great. They're stuck. They're literally stuck in the water that way. Oh, I'm getting so annoyed by the yellow Pikmin stuff. Great, all right, so now I gotta take the blue Pikmin and remake the bridge so I can get the yellow Pikmin to get the stone, uh, the stone rocks. Cause this place is pissing me off now, ain't it? Just take them all out, just take them all out, come on. Where are the other ones at? They were making that gate. <sighs> They're making that gate. Oh look, one lived. He tried his damn best. There's a bulb orb right there. All it takes is some stuff like this to ruin the whole system here, ain't it? Oh, cool, he's on the bridge. Or now he's not. Is he stuck? Hold up. Okay, he can get out. All right. Okay, good. It doesn't seem like they can get off of them in time, but... 
All right, carry him back, carry him back. <laughs> what an absolute pain this is turning into. Okay, before anything else, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these blue Pikmin and they're gonna go start breaking down that, uh, the dark rock wall or whatever the hell it is. Okay, if you're gonna try and fight that, you're just dead, I'm sorry. Stop it. We gotta go through the fire. Stop it. Come on, lads. Luckily, yeah, the Snagrit's leaving alone. Should have got them on this sooner, but what can you do? Stop it. All right, now I need to go get the thing. Wasn't really able to get a lot of parts today after all, was I? Turns out there's a lot more stuff I had to just set up and break. Those bread bugs wandering back and forth. I didn't think that the smoky prog egg would hatch into something else, but what, that yellow Pikmin almost just like caused like an absolute massacre by trying to hit that egg. I just want you all to know how that made me feel. That one is stuck in a wall. Get him out of there. Let's put these guys back. Yeah, I got everything in the forest navel. Oh, come on. Just need a couple yellow Pikmin. Just a few. Let's go get the frickin' bomb rocks, because the game can't be arsed to give me more than three on that little skull over there. Let's run for it. Everything is fine. Everything is dandy. Don't ask where these bomb rocks come from. They just kind of exist. Wait, only two? Oh, they don't all respawn at once? Oh, okay. They're finding them, all right. It's a good thing the bomb rocks aren't randomized. Doesn't matter what enemies I kill. Okay, good. They finished the big wall. We can reunite when we get back now. Those guys are hatching. We'll be back again tomorrow, so no biggie. There's a random blue. Right, that thing. Give me the rock one. Two should be enough, but I don't think I can do anything else with the other ones. Now there's that part over there. Hang on. Now that everything's cleared up, I should be able to get at least this part back before the day ends, I hope. Nice. Alright. We've gotten that taken care of. They tried to go that way first, and they're like, oh wait a second. He cleared the he cleared the stone wall. What are we doing? This park could have dangerous enemies next time, too. There isn't anything left that is inside an enemy, I don't think. It's just these two. Now that I've ended up breaking down the remaining walls. Let me just see if there is an extra wall over here. They're eating that other bridge, but it doesn't matter too much to me. Take a look what this is. Is it inside an enemy? Wait. Wait, is that Emperor Bolax? No, there's no way. No, that's a part. It's just a part out in the open. Never mind. I thought that was like the little antenna that sticks out of the ground. Hang on, how do I get over to that? I don't have enough time to get it back, but... Maybe I can move it a little bit. No, I don't have enough Pikmin. That part is basically just sitting there, out in the open. The problem one is gonna be just using the yellow Pikmin to get that one in the corner. 
this isn't a big deal though. Uh oh, game's lagging. Okay. I only had a crash in the forest navel, which is already kind of unstable in um vanilla. I have nothing to use the bomb rocks on anymore, but okay. Better to get more than what you need than not. Let's head back to the landing site. Alright. So far, so good. It's almost sundown. Hurry up. Let's pick the remaining Pikmin. I see a random yellow one back there. Get him. Wow. I still need to get the second part for the impact site, though. Alright, 86. Where's the missing ones? Oh, they're stuck over there still. <sighs> I guess I should try and get them. Do they go in with the bomb rocks? I'm pretty sure they don't save them in the onion. They just put them on the ground. Do they leave those there overnight? It'll be interesting if they could. Where are they at? I thought they were there. Oh, I had it backwards. They're over there. I'm not gonna make it. Oh. The game is gonna crash. So close. So close. They were I almost had them in my whistle range. Sorry. They had to die. They weren't fast enough. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, chat. Uh-oh. My Minecraft mod? Well, I don't really play much of Minecraft at all, so I wouldn't really know <laughs> wouldn't know if I want to do that. Seven parts remaining. Recover in 16 days. Surely there are some parts that are not necessary. If my ship is not complete by day 30, the only thing I will find out is try to lift off. Call the day I took my son for a ride in the spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return, and I shall return. I must. I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with Pikmin. How many did I lose today? Lost in battle, 33. Left behind. Wow, I lost over 200 in battle? How? What happened when... with? Uh, I guess the Wally Hop did kill a lot. Is there a boss that just murdered me I forgot about last time? Alright, let's go back to Distant Spring. I need yellow and blue ones for this. There's no flower over there consistently enough. Yeah, it looks like the bomb rocks didn't stay. Seemed like I need a lot to carry that there, so I better take out... I better do half and half just in case. Did I take off 52 by mistake? Where? There's some in the ground I didn't see. The bug must have uh, picked some up and threw them in the ground somewhere. Okay, it looks like there's, of course, you're in the way. If I just run by, I should be okay. If I just run by. Come back. We don't need to do this right now. Dude, stop trying to fight it. Get out of there. We need the ship parts. That's all we need. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Wait, there's a blue flower over there now. 
Wait, how the hell are there plants at Pikmin there? Because of the bugs. Hang on. Hang on. I might be able to work with the blue flower, but... Oh, this is a problem. This is a freaking problem. What enemy is normally there in vanilla? Because I don't remember. I don't think he can actually launch a projectile downward to me. So I might have a chance here. Hold up. If I take them over a few at a time, I could probably cheese past them. I have the whole day, basically, for this. Uh, can I reach it? I don't think I can reach. Okay, never mind. He can he can shoot down. Okay, yeah, this is a problem. And there's another one over there. <sighs> the blue Pikmin can't get up there, though, is the problem, right? Is there any way to cheese this? Usually there's a yellow flower over there that I use to get it down, but I can't this time. Oh, no, 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 no. Great. I think I might have to reset. I don't know if I can do this with him here. There's no way for me to geyser up to the ledges this way. There's no way for me to just kind of guide them up there. You just need yellow Pikmin, and I think there's supposed to be a yellow flower here for you to get it down. Um... This... Oh. Okay, the game was, like, super lagging there. It seems like I can't throw yellow Pikmin up this way enough either. Oh, the game cannot handle him being there. If I put you guys over here, I hope you'll be safe. I might have to reset this day, so let's just experiment first. I think normally there's, like, uh, something unimportant up there. Hold up, I need them out of range here. Take a few at a time. I don't know if I can actually reach. I don't think the running throw is in Pikmin 1. Hold up. I might be able to do this. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Well, there goes that one. I can't... I can't kill him. He's, like, in the way. I think I just have to go back to last save. Like... I can get yellow Pikmin up there without the flower being over there like it's intended, but, I, like, he physically is just going to kill everything, and I have to take them at, like, one at a time, and then just quickly call them. And I think I need, like, 25 to 30 for that piece, so I have to reset the map. Like, that enemy in that spot is just, like, I can't do it. Uh, and he also is kind of about to crash the game at this rate, isn't he? Let's go back in. I'm not sure what's there. It might be a Pikmin flower in that spot normally, because I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, like, throw blue Pikmin up there, and there's a yellow flower there, and then you turn them into yellow, throw them onto that patch of land so you, that you can get that part from high up. But because the flowers are part of the things that are randomized, that means that the f anything can become a flower, and uh, vice versa. This is such a problem. <laughs> this is such a bad problem. Basically, mental note, if I ever do this again, make sure to reset and see what's what's here. Okay, let's ignore you. You just had to get everyone killed, didn't you, Bobby? Okay, a fiery blowhog. That is more manageable. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, there's a mushroom boy over there. Of course there is. All right. I can deal this. I can deal with this. I have to basically kill him, though, because he's going to set everything on fire. Oh, cool. They're just going to stand there instead of going for him. Good job, guys. Shh. 
shooting at us. I need to get rid of these things. They're going to cause trouble, too. Now he's locked on to me. He's going to shoot fire everywhere. Can I not do this? You know what? I'll do it my damn self. Ain't nobody gonna do it except me. Okay. He's healing up. He's out healing me. I can't. What? <clears throat> this part is stupid for the randomizer. <laughs> this part is just stupid. The blue Pikmin can't reach him either. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't deal with this guy. Am I gonna have to reset again? No, I can't leave them up. Ooh, I have to reset again. If there's just any enemy here, can I not get the part? This is really silly. This is really, really silly. All because of one flower that isn't there anymore. Uh, all right. Just take out the blues and yellows and hope it's better this time. I think this is the only part I've actually had to do this for. Every other one has been manageable to some degree, but this one is originally meant to be like a Pikmin flower puzzle where you have to like change them, but it's not there anymore, so you can't do that. All right, let's hope it's better. I'm, I really just need to, it to be like a pellet posey or something. Okay, Bulborb's in the way. I guess I'm gonna have to kill this one. Lads, I'm begging you, stop it. Luckily, Bulborbs are super easy to kill with the stick and throw option. Come on, lads. We don't even know what's over there yet. I have 86. Where did uh, the other ones go? Okay. Okay. There's a Wally Hop. Yellow Wally Hop. Okay. I can... Ah! <laughs> There's a beetle back there. I can lure him down. I can lure him down. Hello, friend. Welcome. But the cannon beetle, it looks like I'm just going to have to put up with, but... Remember when that was a flower yesterday? Or the previous day I loaded in? Mm. This is a problem. I'm going to have to sacrifice someone to lure it down, though. Sorry, you did your job. So sorry, chat. We had to sacrifice him. Is either that or reset again. Kind of surprising the flowers are randomized. Yeah, maybe they should be left alone. This one part is a good example of that. Is he stuck? I think he's stuck. Okay, no. I need him away from the water so he doesn't fling the yellow Pikmin in there. Alright. Now then, because there's no flower, I have to carefully throw the yellow Pikmin up here. I gotta do this a few at a time. And if I mess it up, this happens. <sighs> Why are you throwing them? Stop it. Okay. Okay, I need to, like, angle the camera differently. They can dip their toes in the water, but... Maybe if I... Hang on. Hang on. They're trying to pick stuff up. If I put some idle blue Pikmin in the water, maybe they'll try and help the other ones if I miss. First of all, let's just get some of these guys safely over there. By using the geyser. 
my god. This is like the worst thing ever, and I hate it. This is now officially my least favorite part. Come on, they can get out. They can get out. Oh my god! I got one over here. I need 25. I think I might need to reset again. This guy is still too much trouble. I think I just need to take the blue ones and kill the beetle. That's all I can do at this point. I'm getting tired of resetting, but... Wait. No, wait a second. You can't hit the beetle unless it's red Pikmin, right? Uh, I don't actually remember. I think. All of them work for it. Uh, how do I hit it again? Do I hit its face? Maybe. No. How do you hit this thing? Do I throw Pikmin when it sucks in, maybe? Yeah, you jam it. And... Okay. That's how you do it. I remember now. Oh, great. Red Pikmin would slaughter this thing real fast, for sure. Okay. Come on. Kill it. Get rid of this guy. I've had enough of him. What?! How did I not kill?! I'm kind of surprised. He had, like, no health left. Alright, let's go. Alright, I got him. He dropped nectar for some reason. Lad, get over here. Okay! I, I think I can finally do it. Luckily, the other part we need for this is out in the open. But I need the blue Pikmin to get it out. I need to get 25 yellow ones over there, which is difficult because there's, um, there's no flower anymore. Oh, God. Yeah, throw them out. Wow, they really do do that. That's pretty cool. Okay. This is going to take a little bit. Is there a place for me to carefully stand? No, I ha- I need to, like, get a running throw with this. At least they're helping get one out. Without the flower, yeah, it's a bit messy. All right. Leave you behind. I need to get the geyser up there. There's a blue one up there. <sighs> this is a bit tricky, but we it, it's definitely doable, but having the beetle on top of this little square made it, in, like, extra impossible earlier, so I could not do that. Um... Okay, good. They make it out. It's just barely possible, but... I got seven. <laughs> Hang on, what I should do? Give me some blue ones and put them over here. This little trick of uh, knowing that the idle blue Pikmin can help is actually really handy for this particular uh, bit here. I wonder if any Kaizo Pikmin mods would have like crap like this for you to do. That sounds like it'd be get tedious, wouldn't it?
needs to be a running throw. I think. I'm pretty sure you can't do it from there standing. The beetle in the square was not doable, no way, yeah. Okay. Now this is using our noggin, though. The problem is the yellow Pikmin can't carry it to the ship. Once the yellow Pikmin get it down, the blue Pikmin have to carry it through the water. Now, oh, get him out. Get him out. That is really cute that they save each other. I wonder if, like, the red Pikmin can do a similar thing with fire in later games. All right, let's get this group over there, because if I make the group too big, it's gonna... They're gonna fall in the water by accident. All right. Wow, that one r went really, really far. Probably because I have a high, much better height. Oh, no. Help, help, help. Okay, that was a little bit... I accidentally slid off, but that's okay. <sighs> Ten more. Oh, nine more. This part's gonna take me forever. Am I gonna have time to get the other one after this? We'll have to find out. This is taking me, like, a whole day to get. Let's get him. Uh... It's kind of impressive that you can actually do it without, um... Oh, hang on. Need some of those other ones over there. It's kind of impressive that you can do this without the flower this way. I'm not sure if this is intended. Let's go. Take advantage of the running momentum to get the yellow Pikmin up there. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, there's a yellow flower normally. But that yellow flower keeps becoming an enemy now. Oopsie. Okay. What was on top of the square during this day? I don't even remember anymore, to be honest. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, help it out. Okay. Even if I can't get it this day, I can get definitely get both parts tomorrow. As long as I get, the, as long as the yellow Pikmin can just get it off the damn ledge, we're good. We are good. All right, good. I can do regular throws there safely. All right, come on, just get it down. That's all that matters. I just realized the yellow Pikmin are gonna get left behind here, unless I get them all during, unless I call them during the countdown. All right. Good job, guys. Now wait here. I'll try to come back for you. I don't think I'm getting both parts today. I think I'm going to have to pop in quickly. Can you... Yeah, I can end the day early. Oh, God, get him out. Get that one out. I don't have time for this, dude. That one yellow Pikmin's just gonna have to stay behind. Or two. Dude, guys, come on. This is why the quick shift is, like, so badly needed in this game. Why don't they just ride the float across the water? If only! Alright. Good job, lads. Well, that thing's just gonna die. Help it out. They're not gonna make it. Stop trying to get random stuff. Oh, there they go. Oh, I have, to, I'm, I have to leave the yellow ones behind. I have to leave them behind. 
I have to stay with this group because they're not gonna make it to the landing zone in time. I'm sorry! <laughs> I threw one. I can regrow them at the impact site. Well, look, if they show up in this in the cutscene here, going for the ship, that means they found a way to get back. So if they didn't want to let me in on the secret, that's their own fault. <laughs> look, I'm sorry, that part was bad. We can all agree that this part is really bad in the rando. <laughs> One of them found a way back. Fifteen days since impact. Left behind, twenty-eight. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Oopsie whoopsie. Alright, let's just get the other parts and let the yellow Pikmin get some. <laughs> let's just go back in and get this place done and over with already. I remember uh, Dylan spent half the day on this part when he did the rando too, did he? <laughs> did he have it worse? There's yellow Pikmin to pick. Going to sunset just ends the day early. So I don't need to spend too long here once I do this. Did it just pop in out of nowhere? I need to go get this and the screw thing, and we're done, basically. I can just regrow more yellow Pikmin at the, um, impact site. There hasn't been a Smokey. At least not that I've seen. Well, we got it. Space float. 24. There's six parts left. I can definitely do this, but this is definitely turning to be a little bit tedious, for sure. Kill enemies along the way and let the yellow Pikmin get it after, why don't we? Oh, great. No, 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 no. Stay away from that. Stay away from that. The guy's just gonna get you. Dude. Dude, stop trying to pick up the bulb orb and just kill the bear. God, you guys are dumb sometimes. Alright. Zoom in again. Not this thing. Not this thing. Go away. I had enough of you. Had enough of you forever. Everybody get some of that nectar. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Get him. Get him. Make him pay. Oh, the Pikmin are cute. That's why it sucks when they gotta die like this. Whatever. Keep it. I don't care. What are you doing? What are you doing? You stop that. Stop that. Get over here. It can't even get back to its nest, so its pathfinding is kind of messed up. Okay, that one can be left there alone for now. Uh oh, the game is chugging. What monstrosity is loaded in over here? I like how the bull bears look. It looks like they're worshiping the, the fire. Let's get this crap over with. <laughs> I hate the distant spring after this crap. I mean, I already kind of disliked some of these annoying parts. This, the place itself is pretty comfy looking. All right. And they're carrying it now. Everything is pathed out. All that's left to do is just go get out the yellow Pikmin and what are they doing? They're taking this way now. All right, they should be safe getting back. Let me go pick the yellow Pikmin along the way, and I'll let the yellow Pikmin recover some of their numbers here, but for the most part, I can get them all back during the other place. I haven't really used much red Pikmin, because I haven't needed to. Let's see, a little too zoomed out there, aren't I? All right, let's pick them. Um, hello? Did it just die as I was trying to pick it? I think it did. That's why I couldn't get it. How many yellow Pikmin do I have left? Uh-oh. Game is chugging a little bit. That's gonna unload an object. Twenty-eight. 
25 parts. Ooh, just under a hundred left of them, yeah. Alright, boys. There's the blowhog. Oh, I see a yellow flower over there, but that takes... That's too much effort. No, that's the red one. I've got more than enough red Pikmin for endgame. I need yellow Pikmin for the final trial. You need a bit... Like, lots of every Pikmin for the final trial. The day is pretty much, like, done. There's nothing else, like, to get all the way. Is the green stuff just things to pick up? I think it is. No, they're yet they're Pikmin still in the ground, I guess. I don't see them though. Where? Guess they haven't sprouted again yet. Alright, before we just go to sunset, let's take out some Pikmin and just get some more of these guys, because why not? Don't go in the geyser, morons. Don't go in the geyser, morons. Alright, let's go. They're gonna walk around it. No, they're gonna walk right through it. They're gonna walk right through it. <laughs> no, don't. Okay. Hold up. Y'all help take this one away. Yeah, that's right. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. One of them just died. Oops. My bad. Didn't mean to that to happen. They just went for the... They just went for that, didn't they? Dude, pick it! <laughs> oh, God. Hey, okay, fiery blowhogs. He's coming for us. I suppose yellow Pikmin are good enough for dealing with it. Maybe I should just take him out. Let him grow a little bit. I got 28. Dude, come here. Dude, come here. He's going for the water. These yellow Pikmin are good for getting, like, this guy. See if he drops some pellets. Lost too many Pikmin in this place. Alright. See what he drops. Pellets? Oh! He dropped nothing. He dropped nothing. He dropped nothing. Well... That's just how it is sometimes, you know? You gotta... Yeah, take it as it comes. I did grow some Pikmin back. I think I should just end the day and go to the impact site now. Get that other part and a bunch of Pikmin. However, the randomizer could give, like, abysmal RNG, because that's a tiny area, so if I get a smoky, well, I'll probably just take out a bunch of red Pikmin and kill it and get replenish my numbers back, but still. Anyways, I got all the parts I needed here because the previous day was a bit of a, bit of a nightmare, wasn't it? Getting that one part, <laughs> man. Hang on. Pick it! I don't know why this game struggles to let me pick them. Uh, that's all the way over there. I don't care too much. There you go. Put them all in the onion. Got a bit more than 100 now, don't I? Just that over there. Let's go get it. Go get him. And then let's get the heck out of here already. Where are they at? Should be right next to me, but I don't see anything. Is it resprouting? There's yellow 10 there, but it's too much of a pain to get that. Well, it'll be safely planted in the ground. The 
says it's right here, but it's gonna take a bit before it pops out. Two of them, to be exact. All right, let's just go to Sunset. I we, We've completed this place, and I can grow Pikmin elsewhere. All three onions are over 100 anyway, so that's pretty good. Yellow are the least important ones. But I... It will help to have some on extra ones on hand later, especially if we have to bomb rock strat the, the final boss. I don't think the final boss has to always be Emperor Bullblax. It could just be like um, it could just be any boss really, because the bosses shuffle among each other. No one left behind except the one in the in the ground. Don't worry about it. He's fine. He's fine. Five more parts. A room for us full of smokies. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, all parts are gathered in the distant spring in the navel. There's three left in the forest. If I'm good, if I'm optimal enough, I can get them in one more day, but let's take advantage of the impact site. You have to spend a whole day here regardless. Pray for good RNG. Uh, I see a 20 pellet there. That looks nice. I know I'm gonna need bomb rocks to break things down. So let's start with the yellow Pikmin. Okay, we got bull bears and fish. I should probably clear this place out. Like, oh, I left pe red Pikmin here. Okay. I say we let the red Pikmin slaughter all of them first. Because these guys are just going to eat everything. They have no AI while they're getting out. They're camping. They're spawn camping. How dare they? Let the red Pikmin do something. Yeah. Okay, get that for the other ones. Okay, bull bear's over here. Kill it, please. They just stood there and watched. Okay. I think I got them all. Okay. Red Pikmin have higher attack power, so they're good for killing things faster. Oh. Wait, no. Fire geysers don't matter to me. Let's get rid of them. Alright. Take the red pellets, why don't you? But let's go. This place is a little unsafe to pick stuff up because of the fire geyser anyway. You can't kill fire geysers in uh, Pikmin 1. Oh, but they can hurt me for sure. Dude? Is there a reason they can't pick this up? There they go. Wondering what the hell was going on there. This is gonna give us some extra red Pikmin. But the other Pikmin can pick those up. Nice. Here, you may as well grab this. It's next to your onion. Okay, I cleared out the random enemies that showed up here. Hold up. First, add to the onion. Hold up. Let him go into the onion first. Now I need to bomb rock things for a little bit. Okay. Also, just let them do this. Because they need more yellow Pikmin. Need to just go to the ship right quick to heal myself. Alright guys, let's head over here. No enemies. Okay, it's this annoying thing, whatever. Okay, just grubs. That's nothing. One of you can take that back to the ship. The rest of you, get your button here. Grab some of these. I don't see anything in there, which means it's probably just like a, a snag rit in the ground or something. This could be a little rough. Let's take them up. Yep, I knew it.
Just one? What are you doing? What are you doing? You idiot. He tried to come back to me. Okay. The part is inside... Is it the blowhog? It's in the blowhog. Oh, great. That's a problem. Well, now that we've done this, at least what we can do is use the remaining bomb Pikmin to break this. All right, I'm gonna need to come up here with blue Pikmin. All right. At the very least, uh, this should be easy to get. That, those fire geysers, like, make me nervous. It's okay. I got a bunch of yellow Pikmin killed, unfortunately. I, I can admit, I've made mistakes. So have all of you. Don't act like you're all suddenly, like, uh, world record holders of Pikmin deathless playthroughs. Here we go. Take some of these guys back here. Um, okay. If your Pikmin aren't dying, you're not playing Pikmin. That's what we can say for sure. Okay. Let's get some more of these back while we can. You are? No, you're not. You're lying. Where are your credentials? Come with me, and you'll see how magical the world can be. Get in there. Okay, good. That takes care of the yellow Pikmin for now, I would say. We're gonna put these guys away, and we're gonna take out a crap ton of blue Pikmin now. And they're gonna take out the puffy guy. And then we can spend the rest of the time just getting whatever else. Hang on. I have too many Pikmin in the field. I need to just pick all these right quick. Pick, pick the Pikmin. This is still good progress. Child me would be really impressed that I have this many parts when it's not even day 20. The fact that, like, the random enemies are, like, significantly slowing down, like, so much part progress as well. Like, I feel like I've done, I'm doing pretty good, all things considered. Especially since I had a smoky prog day two. I still feel like it's a freaking miracle I, I was able to deal with that. All right, I need to pick them so I can put them away. Because I need to just take out a whole bunch of blue Pikmin. The blue Pikmin can reach the puffy blowhog, at least. Oh, of course they did. Of course they did. Oh, boy. Okay, put these guys away. All right, put them all out. We're almost to the half point of the day, but that's okay. Where the hell are the other 12? Oh, right, I left the yellow Pikmin without the bomb rocks over there. That's fine. This should be more than enough. Now, there it is. I like how it seems that the, the the glowing mushroom from the forest navel seems to be a random spawn as well. There's a yellow tent up there I can easily get as well. In fact, I think I can do that along the way. Suddenly there's a bug grub. I love how the whistle just magically misses one or two of them. All the time. They can take that back to the ship. Luckily, the mushroom will p should piss off, but the blue Pikmin might get close to it if I'm not careful. Who died? Wait, what? I can't walk up this? Are you serious? Oh my god, that's... Alright then. Just slow me down more, game. Just slow me down more. I'll take these ones with me. They must have tried, gotten distracted and trying to hit stuff. Whatever. 
Okay. Yeah, watch for you. We don't need to worry about you, though. Certainly doing this the long way, but it's whatever. There we go. Okay, it's that thing. Number two, Ionium, Ionium Jet, whatever it is. I may as well let them pick up all these pellets. It's not like it, I need to bother switching it to the red ones. Okay. Can y'all get it? There you go. Now the rest of y'all can just take this, and then I can just take out the yellow Pikmin to uh, pick up other stuff, I suppose. Well, Pikmin are the most important ones. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all, fellas. There's the part. We've certainly recovered the numbers that I've lost. Probably just take the yellow ones up there and slaughter those. It's going fine. I'm gonna use the remainder of the day to just pick stuff up. I'm kind of lucky that I haven't had bad spawns with the fire geysers. Because I feel like that could easily rough you up. One or two might get munched along the way, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. There's a blue five up there, but whatever. They take too long to fall down, so just crash them all with the C stick. There we go. Everybody grab something. Let's go. Okay, this will give the yellow Pikmin some more numbers. Get it down. Lads, I can see. I just gave up. <laughs> oh, come on, fine, I'll do it myself. Okay, this is good. It feels like the clock is moving faster here than other places. There's a blue one. Better than nothing. It's not worth the extra effort to take the yellow Pikmin up. Don't walk over the fire. Okay. All right, let's pick them. Pikmin doing their damn best. Ain't nobody make fun of that. Better keep 100 in the field. Could go for that blue 20 right quick. They're gonna slide off. Grab this right quick if you shall. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with them now. Guys, hit them! They're just standing there, ignoring them. Are you serious? I'm like crashing them into them with the C-stick and everything. Dude, hit him! He's right there! They're just ignoring it and going for the pellets behind me. Gosh, I can't with these Pikmin sometimes, I swear. Some of y'all are so silly. They're like, no, we gotta carry stuff. That's more important, don't you know? Oh god, they're gonna go help them. Whatever. 
Let's go. Can you guys get this fast enough? Good, they can. Try and use that stick, but we don't need it. Lost too many Pikmin to that silly silly business. All right, time to pick right quick. Time to pick these. I now have a total of 779 Pikmin. The red numbers were all, always really high. Um, I fixed, I replenished the yellow ones I lost and I gave myself even more blue. I, I obviously had to have lost a blue, few blue ones along the way when I was doing Distant Spring because you need them for like everything in that place. Okay, this is good. We are doing just fine. Do 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 There we go. All we have to do now is get the three parts remaining in the forest to hope, and then the final area is unlocked. Seventeen days since impact. Oh, the horrors. A bomb rock explosion engulfed the Pikmin. Oh yeah, that one at the start that just like uh went for it and didn't care. Last horrified facial expression is burned into my memory. I must review my procedures for handling Pikmin with bomb rocks so I do not repeat this mistake. Are you hearing this? Olimar saw it die, and he, he... It's burned into his memory that he let that happen. Holy moly. When I press A to throw a Pikmin carrying bomb rocks, you know what would work better? If I use the D-pad to switch, but, uh... Can't do that in this version, sadly. Four parts remaining with 13 days. I could do this at whatever pace I wanted, couldn't I? Sprouted 166 today, nice. Okay, let's hop into the forest and do this. It definitely seems like I'm gonna be able to finish this tonight. There isn't too much left for me to do. Here we go. Okay, so let me check what parts I need here right quick. Okay, boss arena, boss arena, and that one's just on a ledge. Hmm. I think I definitely need blue Pikmin for this one over here first. It depends on what spawns in each arena is how smoothly this could go, but I have more than enough Pikmin to deal with this. Let's just go. Anyways, since I am probably going to finish this today. Okay, there's a blue one there. Should probably take out the, these guys, because I'm going to have to carry stuff back. Probably should have taken out Red Pikmin in that sense. Since I am going to finish this, I'm thinking about what I could do tomorrow. There we go. Okay. going to hop and do this. Maybe tomorrow, after Infinite Fusion, I could start a Castlevania rando again. I've kind of been wanting to do one of those, especially, like, I've been in the mood to play Portrait of Ruin specifically. I was thinking about doing a Charlotte-only playthrough of Portrait of Ruin, but that might take a lot longer. Oops. No, 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 no. There we go. So I don't want to do that just yet. Go away, you two. There we go. Oh, thank you for the resub there, Will Call. Yeah, Will Calder. Pardon me, I like half hiccuped in the middle of talking there. Great. That guy's gonna swoop down. Okay, let's get him. I guess those guys are carrying things back now. What a pain. Come on. Alright. One shot is gonna be happening soon. Yeah, I don't know about Sunday. When is, uh, Kuda's birthday? Oh, you're still here. Okay. You can let me know. We just did Crooked Man the other day, so I don't need to rush into another big... Oh, nice! This is an easy boss to take out. Okay. And that's not a bridge there. Let me do this. 19th? Okay, so a little later into the month. We'll definitely get to that. 
I was thinking of doing Pokemon Dusk and Dawn as a stream as well. They have some copyright issues, so I might have to be ready on the mute button for that one, but I definitely see that happening for sure. People have been requesting that in the, the new, newest game. <laughs> the third game has been translated for a while, and I just haven't gotten to it. Okay. Let's just break down the wall and get it. We have more than enough days to get all the parts here. It doesn't matter if I don't get all three in one go. Yeah, no, don't spoil anything about one shot for me. We'll get to it when we get to it. Excellent. I don't know how much extra content the Steam version adds, but I've not played the original. This guy is easy. He can't even kill Pikmin, can he? He can only just kind of slap them into the ground. But he has the part inside him for sure. Oh wait, no he doesn't. He's guarding it. Never mind, I can just leave him alone. All right, win-win for all of us. Okay. Normally, it's the cannon beetle in here. 40. Let's get as much as we can. Okay, extra ending and stuff. Okay. Check that out, add out when we get to it. Hmm. Where are you going? Where the hell are they going? Bro, are they trying to carry it? <laughs> Alright, no problem. Just let me know. But I am just kind of feeling something Castlevania for tomorrow. We'll see. I was trying to beat Castlevania 4, but man, that's it's taken me a while to get through. Are they okay? Looked like they were stuck for a second. It was probably because of the flower there. Ah, oh, don't. Don't. The resub there, Adam. I appreciate that. Yeah, they got it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm not sure. I'm. I kind of think I might be able to finish Infinite Fusions tomorrow. You think I could? Okay, the bugs are getting that, but who cares? Because I guess we'll have to see. Zuma King should be able to just sweep whatever gets in the way. Alright. Now let's just take them all up here. Because we can. They're going to go for that. Alright, there's the first jet. Are they struggling to get up? Bro, they can't figure it out. Come here, lads. Come here. Oh, they're so stupid, aren't they? Take it out. I love when I'm do clearly like 30 of them are, are hitting it, and the game just decides no, it's not going to take damage. That's my favorite part about attacking bulwarks. Okay. Uh-oh. Looks like that's in the way, so I'm gonna have to get the rest of them to carry this stuff. Help! Okay, perfect. Here's the rest of them. Now all that's left to do is get out, like, the red Pikmin and go for whatever's up over there. Hang on, I should probably scout what the boss is. Mamuda's got it. Yep, it looks like I'm gonna have to kill that one up there. Easy enough with red Pikmin. Just take out a hundred and go for it. Oh no, you don't. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, we're gonna do a spooky game stream at some point, Yo-Yo. We just did Crooked Man, though, so I don't need to organize uh, the, a collection stream just yet. But I am excited about the idea. Finishing up a lot of uh, game playthroughs during June was a good idea. It's left me open for a lot of stuff now. Okay, grab this. Let's pick all these guys. 
Now let's put them all in. Massive list sounds good. Appreciate it. Plus, I still have a few Resident Evil and Silent Hill games I want to do as well. Uh, I got Shattered Memories for the Wii. And I got Code Veronica downloaded onto my PS5. I've never beaten that one. And I did want to stream a playthrough of Zero, even though Zero can be a little bit clunky at times. Kill it. Wait, what? Okay, its health bar wasn't appearing. I thought it was, like, invincible for a second. Fine, take it. 99 is more than enough. Let's do it. Bro, bro, get out of there. Stuck on the wall. Pikmin AI is silly, ain't it? Fiery Blowhog can't mess with us. Always so strange to me how Pikmin 1 AI... Oops. Prioritizes hitting the pellet posies no matter what. Hang on. Do you have it? Okay. Uh-oh. I forgot about that box. Uh. Hang on. I just gotta throw them over, right? Yeah, I can get a running throw. I don't need to go back and get yellow Pikmin. Or throw blue Pikmin from the water, but... Okay. Just take one at a time. You can do this. Bit of a pain in the ass, but whatever. Is that Emperor Bulblax? Oh, no. He's not the one with the part, but that's definitely him. Oh, God. I didn't even notice them. Turns out red Pikmin were kind of the worst ones to take for this, weren't they? I just gotta aim it just right, and I can get it over there. I wonder if this is intended. Okay. Okay, there's four. There we go. The AI is getting confused trying to join the box group. Just need one at a time, it's fine. Damn it. Darn it. Didn't get it again. Okay, I got another one. This is a bit awkward, but thinking on my feet here is working out just fine for me. Two more. That's what randomizers are all about. Working with things even though they're awkward. Oh, did that one not reach? Ah, man. One more. I wonder if the devs under understood how good that running momentum could be in this game. Okay, now they're helping. Problem is, I can only take a few over there at a time because of the way the bridge is set up, huh? This is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Hang on. It's only this guy, so... Just enough. Wait, they're gonna take it this way? Dude, there's a- you just take it down there! Are they stupid? Well, don't- I don't think I want the answer to that. Yeah, we have a problem. Yeah, we have a problem, everybody. We have a big problem. 
we've got so many problems like it, you know, it's, I, I don't even have like in a metaphor for this that's how bad it is this isn't gonna be enough great Dude, it's not the time. I don't think I can get it with him being, like, the spawn here. Usually there's three- there's, like, three Snagrits there, right? I could rush- rush in. Get it out of here. They're gonna... No, they're not gonna be able to do it. it. This isn't possible to do without killing him, and there's not enough time in the day. Oh, cool, and now this is happening. Right. <sighs> Fantastic. Yeah, I just have to... Great. I just have to basically do it and come back in another day. Well, I can regrow some Pikmin at least in the few seconds we have left here. That's a bit of a big shame there, isn't it? If only I didn't have to waste so much time getting the box moved. I thought red Pikmin would be fine, but red Pikmin just couldn't- like, they were literally the worst ones to take there because of that. Oh well. Just pick stuff up, lads. Revive our brothers! Wait, who got- who's getting killed? Bro, what? Well, he's dead. That's really lame. Darn it. All right. That was unfortunate, but we just have to go back in, get that one part, and then go to sunset. <laughs> this is a randomizer. I should be prepared. I had, I had a good pace, though, for most of the game, so I have more than enough days to spare for crap like this. Hmm. This is all okay. To the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm sorry you got left behind. We all had a bad day. Get over it. <laughs> 18 days. Dwarf and spotty bulborbs. Most plentiful species on the planet. They are quite ferocious despite their appearance, using their massive jaws to swallow Pikmin whole. Frontal assaults result in disaster. Attacks from behind are more successful. Attacking their legs also effective. There begins to be a whole lot of different kinds of bulb orbs and stuff in the next one. So I lost 50 in battle today, which is a little little annoying. But look at the numbers, like, blue has over 300, red has almost 300, yellow is at almost 200. I'm good for the rest of the game, even if I grow nothing else. Yeah, there's two parts left. I was supposed to get all the parts in today at Forest of Hope, but... The fact that Emperor Bulblax just had to be the thing blocking the way out, because the Pikmin won't just go down the damn ledge... If I get him there again, I might just have to reset. <laughs> no joke. Hang on. There's Wallywogs there. There's red Pikmin flowers. Hold up. Lost 50 to the cycle of life. I only need a certain amount to carry it. Let's just go to have a look. hate when they get stuck there. What do we got? I see the ship. I see another Mamuda. Are the ship parts up there? Yeah. I gotta take out the Wallywog, though. No, 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 no! The bug. Well, that sucks. That's life. We can replenish more Pikmin in a bit. There's a smoky egg. Please, for the love of God, don't try and attack it. Oh! <sighs> I 
I just need 20 of you. I just need 20 of you. I need you all to not be stupid. Can you all do that for me? Please? Just be smart for once in your life. Just, just stay away from it. Stay away from them. There's... There should be three total there. Which means one of them is a snag right underground. I might have to take some effort to get out of here. Yep, there it is. Okay. We got an underground cycle. Just go. I don't think he can... Damn it. Great. I don't think he can reach over here. If I just bring enough Pikmin, we can tank through it. Where the hell did you come from? Did one of them hit the egg? One of them hit the damn egg, didn't it? One of them hit the damn egg. Alright. Let's do this. Oh. I don't have enough to weigh it down. They're just gonna die, aren't they? Whatever. You all decided to hatch it! Don't blame me! Don't blame me! Oops. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I just want the ship part and we're getting out of here. That's all that matters. Unfortunately, Snagrid is going to make things bad worse. I'm fed up with this forest. Let's get out of here. Oh, great. Go, 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 go! Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Who cares? You want to die? Well, you should have carried it faster. That's your own fault. Should have bl blame Ricky for breaking that egg open when I told him not to. Maybe if they just carry it down that obvious cliff over there, we wouldn't have to do this, but no! The Pikmin want to take the long, scenic route. <laughs> I regret nothing. Okay. They're carrying it out now. So at this point... We can just go ahead... I don't know how these guys got left behind. We'll grow some more Pikmin now, yeah. These ones are flowers. Let's pick them. I have more than enough Pikmin for the end game, but I'm a little bit salty how overcomplicated that one part had to become. Maybe they tripped. Oh yeah, I actually forgot tripping even happens in this game, now that you mention it. I lost a few reds, so I may as well just regrow them, but I should get some more yellows just in case. If um, the final boss is replaced by BD Longlegs, I'm gonna need like yellow Pikmin, because they, they can more easily grab it, right? Okay. Oh. Alright, everybody grab something. Red Pikmin can reach BD Longlegs, can't they? I think only if he, like, leans down. Whatever. Just grab that. Hold up, where's the ship part? Do they get it? There they are. I was worried they got killed by something along the way. Checking the onion. We've got 229 in there. Not bad. Alright, let's go over here and kill some things. Get all Pikmin above, like, yellow. Or, sorry, 200. I don't know why I confused those two words. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's a little stressful, but all things considered, this is just how Pikmin can be when you're a kid, anyway. Alright, final trial's been unlocked. Yellow Pikmin have to weigh down the core of BD Long Legs, otherwise it just, um, you have to wait for its idle animation. Okay. I love how the first time I have, um, Red Pikmin over here is the first time the rando doesn't put Fire Geysers here, too. Okay, pick all this up. 
This has really made me want to get to Pikmin 2 again soon enough. I think I could definitely do that. Pikmin is a very much like a summertime kind of game, isn't it? Okay. That's right, you guys carry it all back. I should get the yellow Pikmin to pick up all that stuff over there. What is it carrying? A corpse? It is. I better put these guys back then. How is the whistle not getting them? Get the yellow Pikmin to go carry the frog and all that stuff. Kill you myself. There we go. Should probably just take out like a crap ton. So that the amount in the field can't I won't have to pick more up is what I'm trying to say. Something got eaten by one of the bugs. I just heard it. Okay. Let's get you two, why don't we? That bread bug can't hatch the egg. Okay, good. All it takes is one Pikmin to just slightly boop it, and then bam, the egg hatches into a random enemy. Like a gotcha pawn pod. Alright, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Now let's just take a moment to pick these Pikmin. 829 on backup. Little Pikmin are... There's over... 300 of them, so I don't need to worry too hard about them at all. I may as well just use this uh, the remaining half day to just kind of grow crap right quick, shouldn't I? Get some more flowers. Do that too. This is working too. Simply being too close to the egg causes it to hatch, really? Are you talking just are you talking about just like Pikmin itself or Olimar? I didn't know that. Yeah, you're going down too, Burl. I love their iframes when they're killing someone. That is a silly thing to have learned about. Whatever. Both. Okay. We've got over 300 red ones now. And... Good amount of yellows are still the least amount, though. Take out all the yellow Pikmin for a second. There we go. Alright. Let's carry some of them back now. Use some more flower Pikmin for yellows. Here's a handful of enemies to just take out. Oh. Of course it landed there. I can't really get that now, can I? There's a cannon beetle over there. We don't want to mess with that, that's for sure. We shall replenish numbers, just pick them up. I'm willing to sacrifice a few to get the job done. Pick them up. Yeah, this will buff the numbers up a little bit. Is that enough of them? Okay, pick that up. Okay. Yeah, let's get away from you now. Dude, every time I turn around, there's, like, a new group of, like, bugs popping out. There we go. Grab them. Yeah, you all can have some of this. That'll help. Alright, now over here, 
Nothing up top that way. Okay, good. I landed directly on its head this time. Looks like there isn't really much enemies over here to deal with. Over here leads to that part. There's another one of you. Okay, there's a yellow food pellet. Okay, this is fine. Just a tadpole over this way. No! Kill the thing. Of course. It is so random how this, like, tiny enemy gets iframes when it's killing something. Like, why? Oh, well. Anyways. That covers, like, all the small fry enemies, so taking this back should be perfect. Looks like I'm gonna pass 900 total Pikmin. Each of them being a around 300 in the onion. More than enough for the final trial. And it's... I... I shouldn't have to fight Emperor Bolblax. I shouldn't. Rather, I don't want to. I can afford to reset the day. But unfortunately, most I'm gonna have to spend a whole day in the final trial getting stuff ready. Because you have to make a big path to it. Okay, I may as well just go to sunset as soon as these guys get in. 900 Pikmin exceeded. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, I'm missing one. Where is it? Back there. Let's go get him. I've let enough of them die. I might as well save one of them. There he is. Okay. We're at 100 out of 100. I'm at day 19, so it doesn't matter if I have to spend five days getting to the end of the final trial. We'll be good. The problem is, I think there's a few flower puzz puzzles, um... There we go. There's a few flower puzzles in the, the random place, so those flowers could probably just become a giant enemy blocking a tiny spot. So, you know what? Maybe it will take me five days to get through that. Let's find out. Drink of water. Let's blast off. No one was left behind. We're all good. At last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered 29 of the missing parts on the dolphin's power is near capacity. In the forest depths below, I see a region where the final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. My life support fails in 11 days. Courage! 11 days remaining. Yeah, look at that. Everything is around 300 for the each of the onions. I'd say I made a good comeback with uh, surviving them. Surviving them? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, replenishing them. Okay, final part. I love how I can see, like, shooting stars in the background. Was that always there? That only happened once, um... Then that only happened once, uh... Okay, it's disappearing now. The final trial unlocks. Let's go. Let's do it. The hectic, wonky music. It always does that when you unlock the final trial? Okay. All right, let's check the random enemies. What do I hear moving? Oh, hey, breadbug. Hey, egg! Great. Okay, I'm gonna have to take these guys out. Red Pikmin are needed for their attack power for this. Let's do it. Don't hit the egg. My god, do not hit the egg. Oh my god, seriously? I called them back. You guys saw me call them back. Whatever. Take him to the mothership. <laughs> you saw me call them back. So I'm not to grab anything else here.
All right. You guys know what to do. Omar loves making this discovery every day, doesn't he? We need to get rid of every enemy that's just around. Just grab these. Now, first things first, I should probably also get the blue Pikmin out now that it's safe. Are they gonna grab that? No, they're not gonna grab it. First put that in, yes. Okay. Blue Pikmin get started on that bridge. I don't remember the order of doing everything here, but it doesn't matter too much. That bread bug running around is a little annoying, but he's not really a threat. Zoom the camera in a little bit more. We found flowers here. Let's get started on both bridges. Throw a good chunk of them over here. Thank you for the sub there, friend. I appreciate it. What is that noise? What was that noise? I hear something making a gross noise. But I don't know where they where it's coming from. There's no fire geysers here, so it should be easy to lead any Pikmin group through it. This is perfect, actually. Oh, there's something under the bridge. That's what that is. Hang on. Yeah, take his corpse to the mothership. Yeah, I was wondering what the heck that was. Okay, they should handle that on their own. No problem. Rand the enemies being random, including the uh, the fire geyser, will actually make it so that I can do one part a little bit easier here, won't it? Whatever. I can burn afford to burn numbers. They're gonna have to take all this stuff back, because there's no way for me to lead them through it. Just go, lads. Just go. Are they stuck? Dude, wh what are you doing? Put that out. Oh, fan- Oh, this is fantastic, isn't it? This is fantastic. I'm loving this. How the heck am I going to lead them through? I don't think I can. All right, then. Whatever. I got an idea. Yeah, I thought the bull bear would get to them. Oh, no. We'll do as much as we can in one day. Some of them are falling off the bridge because of it. This is a bit unfortunate. They might get left behind if I keep them there. Okay, I can't push the box from that side. That's right. If I can move them around like this, this should be okay. Hang on. I can just get them over here. That should be enough to deal with, um... Oh, do that. Hang on. Oh, nice. I can just throw them up there with blue Pikmin. I didn't realize you could do that. Okay, is there a geyser or something? I don't recall. Okay, there's a pellet there. That's fine. I can't remember if there's some cheese you can do with the box. Let's see. So far, it seems like blue Pikmin are letting me cheese quite a bit of this, isn't they? 
That stone bridge gotta be dealt with, too. This is how you get the, uh, the bomb rocks with the yellow Pikmin, that's right. You gotta do some crusty stuff with that. Um... Hang on. Does the box... Lead them along the wall here. No, not from this side either. There we go. Okay, I cheesed it. Or is that intended? I can't remember. Nice. This is actually pretty clean. Uh, right. I can't get up there. I got the bridge complete, but I need um, yellow Pikmin to break that. So I gotta get started on doing that now. Should be safe for the most part to just leave the blue Pikmin here like this. No enemies are coming. Yellow Pikmin, I gotta do a little bit of annoying stuff to get them over there, but whatever. Oh, right. I just gotta be patient with throwing the yellow Pikmin across like that. Take 20. Might be a little too much, but this is okay. The bread bug doesn't know what the hell to do. It's, it's freaking out. Okay, this isn't, wasn't a good idea. Apparently my depth perception does not work. Because I thought I was throwing it across this thing. No flowers to work with. Not that I fully even remember if there are any here. Okay. Make sure I get across there. No! Sorry, lad. Got a little too close. That's life. Okay. What's randomized? Um, all the enemies are random every single day. Including a lot of objects. It's not really showing it right now in this location, though, I suppose. Let me see here. Like, it's the final trial, so there aren't really a lot, a lot of enemies outside of what's at the start. But I could start a day and a pellet posy is like an armored cannon beetle. You can see that bread bug running around because it's one spawned over there. I think it replaced pellet posy. So now that I've done this, I think I can throw... all of the rock Pikmin up there. Or do I... can I... can I eat one over from here? I don't actually know if I can reach that. No, I shouldn't reach that. I think if I call them back poorly, though, it doesn't work out the way I want. Um... I have to specifically bump into them, I think. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine like that. <sighs> Somehow I threw that one a little too far. Okay, let's leave them there. Don't call them with the whistle or they leave the rocks behind. This is such an annoying thing that I had to learn the hard way, I think the last time I played this. Because they're not like idle, or like they're not pale. So just walk into them. This can be so frustrating. Okay. Okay. Now I need to get the other bomb rocks over here. Okay. Let's call them over. 
I need to run. It's probably safer to just run and throw. It's really not that bad once you're used to it. Okay, missed this one. It's so easy to make a mistake with the bomb rocks, especially when you're a kid and don't know any better. Using that forward momentum to increase my throw distance. Okay. I've got five bomb rocks. Is that enough to break down what's over here? Either way, now that I've broken down the stone wall, I can get the I can take the shortcut to them next time. Oh, nice. It's not a stone wall, it's just a regular wall. That's the case. Can I just sacrifice these three to get whatever it is? Who is it? Hang on. Wait, it's guarding the part. Oh no, there's rocks in there. Hang on, I might want to break that down actually for tomorrow since I'm about to run out of time. Oops. My bad. Oh, it's school boy. Okay, but it doesn't matter. This was actually, like, probably one of the cleanest, um, like, final trials I've ever done in my life, to be honest. Put all those bomb rocks there for you to really want to get. Alright. Let's gather up the remaining Pikmin and go back to the ship. We can get them tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow for sure. Yeah, the final trial has a little bit of, like, weird quirkiness to it that, like... When you're a kid playing Pikmin for the first time, it's not quite, like, obvious. Like, like, uh, dragging the Pikmin along the wall is something you don't immediately think to do. I'll gather up the yellows in a moment. First, let me put these ones away. I definitely overdid it with the amount of Pikmin I grew, but that's okay. When I come back in tomorrow, there's gonna be a refreshed amount of enemies, though. So I gotta be prepared for that. Whatever the boss is, if the boss is the goop, I can just go grab a bunch of um, blue Pikmin because they're the only ones that can fight it. But if it's anything else, I can pretty much just grab the bomb rocks with the yellow Pikmin and win. I'll just run up ahead and scout and then get stuff. It's better to be over prepared, yeah. Okay. Now it's just us here. Wait, there's four missing. Blue Pikmin over there, damn it. Where is it? Shh. All the way to the other side, huh? I'm not gonna make it. Or all of them. I missed one, I think, but it's fine. That's fine. They're all dying for a good cause. Me getting my stuff. I don't know if, if it's an, what party has, but it's not like I'm gonna wait for day 30 anyway. Sorry, Boreo, but that sucks to be you. 20 days since impact. When I see the Pikmin engaged in fierce battle with other creatures of this world, I often grow uneasy, wondering why they never attack me. Could it be that they actually view me as a parental figure? A strange, disturbing thought. Oh man, I lost 350 total to battle. <laughs> well, that sucks. But I got more than enough to make up for that. Look at that. I've sprouted a lot more. Alright, let's go get it. I'm a terrible parent. No, I'm not. I know what I'm doing. Let's get in. Now, what's gonna spawn around me? That's the big question. Red Pikmin is there. In the ground. 
Oh, cool. There's just a cannon beetle right next to my ship. That's cool. Uh, so I hope I don't need yellow Pikmin, because they're not going to be fun to take out. You've got to be kidding me. Is he replacing... Oh my god, he is! <laughs> He's replaced the Emperor! <laughs> I don't think he can cross bridges. Alright then. Lads, to battle! I can't take too many of the fall, like, fall off along the bridge. Whatever, keep them, I don't care. Oh, for crying out loud. I don't think bomb rocks actually work on him, if I'm not mistaken. Hang on. I gotta get rid of this guy, he's gonna cause problems. Here, replenish your numbers for all I care. Final boss is Smokey. At the very least, he mo he's technically moving the ship part a little closer for me. I think the Smokey Prog can't really, like, go anywhere, though. Yeah, he can't cross the bridge. He might actually be stuck in a choke point. This is good for me. Get out of there. Hmm. He's technically easier than Emperor. circle. Really exploiting this thing's AI right here, aren't I? One more cycle. We got him. He's almost dead. Type bolt. That's definitely a necessary one too. Wait, what? No, no, you don't who cares about that? Pick this up. The spoils go the red Pikmin. We did it. Pikmin randomizer complete. Good thing that cannon beetle was uh reasonably far away. I think he might be stuck because of the bull bear. That's kinda lucky. Sure, let's sprout some Pikmin. Carry it back, Pikmin. We win! Very close to 1,000. This is the final part. Repair type bolt. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but is actually a repair robot. I have recovered 30 out of 30 parts. Increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. No, it means I can go home. Don't think the proper message can display because um, I didn't get the secret safe last. It's time to go home, lads. Time to say goodbye to the Pikmin. Look at him. Later, boyos. I'll be back in one week when I find out my boss ruined the company. Or is it more like a few hours? 
I don't actually know what the time between one and two is, but as soon as Olimar gets home, his boss is like, yeah, go back. We're, we're broke. You gotta help. Also, I'm so I sold your ship. <laughs> well, we're on our own now. There they go. Yeah, we don't know the distance it takes Olimar to travel through space back to his home planet. And then we see all those mysterious other onions down there that are never addressed or brought up in the sequels again. Kind of. Maybe. I think the Fly Pikmin and Rockman had onions, didn't they? White and Purple Pikmin. Oh! The game just crashed. <laughs> it crashed at the credits? Okay. Okay, the game crashed at the cra Well, I won! I did win! It's not like there's any reason to reset it now, is there? <laughs> Anyways, that was the Pikmin randomizer, and... I had a good time with that. It was a lot of fun. Some of the parts at the end uh, definitely were a little bit tricky to do because of how the randomizer works, but so far it seems pretty good. Like, the fact that you can easily just reload your last save to refresh the enemies does kind of help the problem with soft locks. Anyways, I had a lot of fun with this. I hope y'all did too. If you want me to, hopefully I can get around to some Pikmin 2 and other mods for that. I definitely have an interest in doing so, but I hope you had a good time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.